We should be live. Let's see if the, the audio is okay ish. Let's see if the, the audio is okay. okay. Yeah, it looks okay. I'm gonna stop it before you guys hear it many, many times in a row. Okay, this is it, guys. We're finally here. Let me start uh, letting people know that we are live with the Season 5 Finals. Make a, a tweet announcement. So go on Twitter. this and leave it open so I always have it here ready to go uh, freezes and G-regulate okay we will be starting very very soon guys this is it finally after so many weeks after seven weeks we're finally here to go. Let's try getting lots of people on the stream. is ready to go. The freshest looking 30 year old in the league, let's go, Ouija. Welcome, welcome. Uh, I'm not in full attire yet. I'm gonna dress correctly uh, whenever we we are uh, ready to go but thank you so much for the well the, for the good wishes hopefully we're gonna have a nice stream today with lots of hype matches 
get everything ready to rock. I hope people are well aware of the order of their matches. And yeah, everybody besides besides J Salt, I believe, is going to be on stream. Wait, no, who am I missing? I have Miranda Ouija and Frigid and No Fluxes. I am missing Mac that I'm not gonna have on stream nor J Salt. But that's because I believe they will be uh, they will be moving forward. Are you still there, Ouija? Where's Mac? He hasn't shown any signs of life yet. Nor Miranda, nor G regularly. And this is horrible. This is not good for my mental health. This really sucks. He was his Discord was green for a little bit. It was actually green for a little bit and I hope shows up except an inviter even uh, let me refresh the page and see if he did nope not yet the problem is also Miranda and G regulate are yet to show any signs of life either in the groove. Not gonna lie dude, that's uh that's the type of thing that makes me very uh disencouraged to continue. Yeah it should still be it should still be fun, should still have lots of hype matches, but I just think there are other people trying to qualify that could have potentially taken those spots. And yeah, I, I guess uh, unless you put money down the line, people just don't take anything seriously. Like, it, it, it's the only way. You either put money in or people don't care. Well, I tried. I don't want to, like, have to wait a lot for people anyway, so we're going to roll with uh, whoever is ready to play. I know G Regulate and Miranda usually just put their discords to be offline. I just hope. Are right, you there? Playing. Let me see. What about uh, Miranda? I mean, Miranda did qualify through the Arcadian. I really hope he's there. Yo, Big Fry. Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much, Big Fry. Welcome, welcome to the Scouts. Finally. Okay, we're just missing Regulate and Mac. Those are the only ones. Thanks, Big Fry. I appreciate it. Shouting out to Ouija. All right, we're three minutes away. Let me get something going real quick. And I'll be right back. Yo, Lil Marco's in the house. Don't worry, Lil Marco. I'm going to get something to celebrate in style. Crafty Bagel, I have info that I may be your birthday. You are correct. Just give me a second. I'm getting something. And gents, esteemed players, here we are. After seven long weeks, we are ready to rock. And as such, it's time 
to complete the attire. To be 100% ready to rock, we have to do this. Are you guys ready? Bam, there we go. I am Scout Fleur. I'm celebrating my 30th birthday today. And shout out to my family for getting me uh, some very neat uh, metallic ice cubes that supposedly keep your, your drinks uh, fresh and neat, but also very, very cold because that's how I like it. So I only paid for the down payment on Starlink. I bet you already, my area, mmm, I see. I am drinking metal, I might. I'm drinking some whiskey here to celebrate. Let's all have a great time today. The players should not be drinking, they should be focusing and making sure they're doing their best. Woo! Let's freaking go, dude. All right. Let me make sure I click on start bracket for both so players can start getting ready. I believe we should have freezes as the first match on stream. Never played melee drunk. I want to try it, dude. Then you never played melee. <laughs> if you've never played melee drunk, then you've never played melee. It's just how it is. All right, so. Uh, let me message everybody in here. Challenger scouts brackets have been started. You can start playing round one only. Round one only, okay, please. There we go, guys. This is it. Let's have a great afternoon into evening here with lots of good matches. Our first match should be Freezes versus, let me see, Freezes versus G Regulate. If I owned a GameCube controller, I would play Melee. Dude, no, you should play with a DIY box just like this. The best controller ever. They're out for a second and ahead. Let's go. Uh, Ouija, can you make sure you, you leave the broadcast on? I might pop into your match first in case G-Regulate is not to be found. Because I'm, I'm not sure. He has yet to show signs of life. Which sucks because it messes up with our bracket. But it is what it is. Let me see here. G-Regulate versus Freezes. Regulate is yet to check in. Freezes has done it so. So yeah, we we out here. Let me make sure I, I bring this other one here. It is what it is, guys. I wanted to have a couple of other uh, a couple of other potential opportunities. Mac not around either. Not yet. I used to do Super Street Fighter 2 keyboard. Yeah, it's very good. Street Fighter 2. All right, we have Logan versus Kubi. Apparently they're ready to go. Remember, I, I hope this is match one. Is Kubi versus Logan Red in match one? Okay, that's correct. Freezes are Seregulate and Treo versus E Poodle. Treo versus E Poodle. J Salt versus. Uh, versus Mech. Bridget versus Ouija. Ouija, please uh, leave the broadcast on. Please, please, please. And no fluxes versus Miranda. Those are the first six matches that are going to be played simultaneously. We're only going to have uh, around uh, five matches on stream for the group stage. You guys can follow all the results here and just do an at bracket around here. And we should be ready to rock. Okay. So... Let me see if Ouija is broadcasting. I'm gonna hop there because I do not feel confident about uh, G Regulate. He's yet to show up. So we might watch Mac versus Jace. Oh, sorry, Ouija versus Frigid, which should be a hype match. I'm sure both of them are there. Fluxes and Miranda are also looking cool, looking clean. Let's just hope for the best here. I really hope we can actually have an entire bracket, but yeah, let's go then play. Where's Treo? Treo was showing signs of life.
Let's hope all these guys can get their matches going. Uh, does the bracket work the same as match.gg? Uh, yes, you just click on your match. There's gotta be here. He was warming up with purples. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure he is. But yeah, uh, Ouija, it's it's chill. You just just click on your match, either on the like the left bottom side or top right top, upper right side. Doesn't matter. They work the same. You can see some matches are already underway. I'm waiting for either let's see, Ouija and Frigid, right? So Frigid is checked in. Ouija, you have to check in. You are the ones low in the system. We are just waiting for Frigid to show signs of life as well. All right, Ipoodle and Trail are all, have also started. And Ouija Frigid. Okay, we should have our first match on stream right now. It's going to be a Falcon Ditto. Let's go. I was on the main page with the round robin thing, but there's a matches tab. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Glad you found out. So less streaming, chatting, and more playing. We want to watch your match live. Uh, let me. Sh uh, I, I think you go Green Green Falcon, right? You're Green Falcon, guys. So I, I'll make sure that is you. And the other players should be a Ouija. Oh, should be Frigid. Uh, we should be good to go. Okay. So we have four out of the six matches started. I think Mac is not gonna, gonna start anyway. All right. Okay, so Frigid, player two. All right, guys. Frigid versus Ouija. Their guys are gonna finalize their uh, stage bands and whatnot. And we should be ready to go. Guys, cheers. This is it. This is season five finals. And this is not as cold as I thought it would be. But nonetheless. All right. They're ready to go, guys. We're gonna hop in. Match number one here of the day. Ouija versus Frigid, not the one we wanted, but it's gonna have to be uh, the one we have it since the other side of the bracket is not up there. All right, Ouija here, one of the, the rarest things you see in Melee. Green Falcon, which is, a, ooh, all right. The double knee drop into the, oh, ho, ho, ho. that is how you get the season five final started, guys. In this group stage here, we have Ouija with a triple knee sequence there to get things absolutely insanely fast here very very high oh he finds a raptor boost into a reverse snare knee wow Ouija is swagging absolutely swagging and Ouija is very very inspired today not gonna lie he told us uh he was very uh he was very hyped to play j-salt so he, he is indeed warmed up. That is the correct assertion here. You are right, Mr. Freezes. He's absolutely warmed up. And so are we. But don't count Frigid out. He's a very technical player as well. He, he takes the games very seriously. We'll bait out that shield and get the grab. But another... Oh, he could have gone for another up air there. Yes, the eye is true. Ouija's body finds the stomp. The setup almost gets a sequence there. And a very fast ledge hog will net him the second stock here to even things out. I can already feel uh, this whiskey in my in my veins affecting my uh, my system. But that is what we want. We want to feel very nice, very great today. Looks like Logan opened up. Oh no, I'm I, I'm wrong. Looks like no flux is open. One on one over is Miranda and Kubi. One over is Logan. A little bit of expected results, so we'll see how things follow up from here. Oh, what a great sequence! Yeah, that should be the game. And Ouija takes game one. Amazingly, oh come on! It's really my scoreboard not working. Oh yeah, I think I have to open it with, I always forget about this. I have, 
I have to run as an admin. And nope, no fluxes. Wins the, the Ganon Ditto on group one. And we're gonna wait for the matches to be solved here. Okay, let me... All right, game two coming up, Ouija versus Frigid. So Jay Salt has, has checked in. And Freezes has also checked in. So it looks like we're gonna have two initial DQs here per order. Not what we would like to see, but it is what it is. It shouldn't affect our matches very, uh, very much, to be honest, because they only had Mac for one, and G regularly was this one. So moving forward with the with the the group stage, we should be able to have. Wow, very brave from Ouija with the charge down smash there. All right, Ouija is just really on another level today. Oh, no, he doesn't be again. He needed it. And Frigid finds a very decent combo there. Very good sequence to find the knee. The one to play this guy. Well, good for you, Mr. Freezes. You are not in this group. You're not in the Falcon group. Oh no, and Ouija with a very weird side B ends up as Dean prematurely. Which will give Frigid an opportunity to potentially close out this game here very fast. And try to force a game three. But can Ouija find the sequences he needs? Oh, okay, Frigid with the homie stock. Which was not really a homie stock, but we're just gonna leave it at that. Yep, and Frigid takes it. Frigid, very nice execution here. Managed to stay in control of the match. A couple of weird uh, weird SDs from both players, but Frigid just, you know, takes it one by one and gets the job done. Congratulations. Uh, we'll have to play a game three here. And it looks like Kubi also won his game versus Logan here. 2-0. And we're waiting for the first results between Ipudo and Trail. But yeah, coming up next, we will have uh, we will have Miranda versus Ouija on stream. So we're gonna keep watching Ouija, and we're gonna have Miranda versus Ouija on stream, and a bunch of other matches. All right, game three. This is it. The decider here on Dreamland. where both players are going wild. Oh, finds the knee, okay, after the F throw. Oh, the down throw, sorry, good stuff by Ouija here. Frigid a little bit behind here, starting this game three. the row and finds the knee, but Frigid is still fairly healthy here. Go back to neutral. Ouija finds an up air, but doesn't lead to anything. A miss wave land is gonna lead to pretty much like 30 something percent. Frigid. Oh, the edge cancel could have almost led to more. Ouija here is on another level. Showing up the power of the green falcon. Look at that single hit in there into shield drop up there. But Frigid stay composed, stays composed. Oh, he finds the up B. Oh, the knee and the 
back here. You can see the difference. Like, Ouija is just like going crazy. It's just like non-stop action while Frigid finds a power shield into a grab. Damn. Oh, in the back there. Fall down. And here we go. Two stocks apiece again. Very good set right now. Both players really showing off their different styles. The battle of concepts here. Ouija with the full on non-stop action. And Frigid with the very methodical approach. Oh, and the double up air. And he finds a stomp into the back air. Ouija had the quick fingers there for the the meteor cancel, but we, uh, Frigid also trusted his opponent was going to get it. And had the insurance back air to guarantee this stock was going to be taken. Ouija behind here after starting game one very, very hot. He needs this right now. Already behind and already at 60. Such a difficult position here. Can he manage to take this stock somehow? Oh, the fast grab. Tries to read the roll in. It doesn't happen. And Ouija is on life support here. Would need the johnniest of the stocks this world has ever seen. No, he goes too low. And Frigid takes absolute control of that match and just stays cool, calm, and collected to guarantee himself a 2-1 result. Congratulations, Frigid. Staying very composed. It happens, Ouija. Man, that game one was insane. But as you can see, Mr. Frigid managed to stay composed and uh, yeah, got a good result from it. So let me start with a couple of DQs here. We're going to have, unfortunately, J-Salt versus Mac were supposed to play and Mac is yet to be found. So I'm just going to give a DQ here to Mac for this match. Uh... And there's also the freezes G regulate. G regulate is also not showing up. So he's gonna have a DQ as well. With that said, we are gonna move on to the wave number two here because Ipudo and Trail should be finishing their matches soon. So let me go. Which is starting now. Uh, so it's gonna be Ouija versus Miranda. Versus Miranda on stream. Uh, Mac versus No Fluxes. J Salt versus Frigid. And then we also will have Trail versus Freezes. We'll have Kubi versus Ipudo. And we'll have Logan. Versus G regulate. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah, we're we should be good to go for our next matches here today. So, stay tuned for that. The next set of matches. So Frigid is already ready versus J Salt. They're already looking good to go. While uh, my man Mac, oh sorry, my man Ouija here is supposed to play Miranda. So we're gonna wait for them. Ouija versus Miranda here. Miranda already checked in. Ouija is taking his time a little bit. Yeah, wave two should be starting right now, and we're looking good. We're looking good. I really hope these people are actually looking at Discord. It would help a lot if they were. But yeah, thank you so much, guys, for being around. It's a pleasure to have all you guys here. 30 years that I've been rambling around this world. There's a lot to, to unpack about this life of mine. But I'm glad to be around. I'm glad to be here. I'm glad to be providing you guys some cool fun matches live at twitch.tv is last scout floor i would appreciate a couple of you know shares retweets and whatnot made an announcement on twitter about 
the event. Hopefully I can get a bunch of you excited about it. Waiting for a widget to check in. He already did. You should probably... Uh... Actually, no. It's the opposite. Widget is the one that, that needs to check in. You're right. Sorry, Miranda. Let's see. Where is Widget? You are lying. I am. Sorry. <laughs> My, it's my B, man. My B, my B. <laughs> Where is Ouija? I already added him on the Discord. I told him he has to play you. Uh, I believe he should be streaming. Yeah, he's still broadcasting to me, so I'm holding on to it. We're going to have your match live here. And yeah, let's see how things go. We're probably already behind on our schedule because people are not checking in. So let me see, matches two needs to be Trail versus Freezes. Uh, trail not checked in yet. All right, the wave one, pull one is actually going on. Trail, please. Yeah. Uh, what else we have for wave two? All right, no Fluxus player two. So let me update that. No flex is player two, and player one is going to be the Weege man. Oh, actually, no. That is wrong. Actually, no, that's right. Wait, am I Dumbo? Am I drunk already? Weege versus Miranda. Oh, yeah, Miranda is playing. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I forgot that Miranda plays. Miranda plays Ganon as well. <laughs> All right, game one starting up right now. It's Luigi versus Miranda. Let's see how this Falcon fares up versus the absurdly fast Captain. El Capitan. Capitan Falcon. Oh, that is a harsh upbeat there. A very difficult one. And it looks like Freezes and Treo and Kubi and April are ready to rock, so that's good. Man. It's so close. All my my ice cubes can almost fit this uh, this this cup here. Man, this level of movement here by Ouija is on another level. But also, guys, I have the hottest tips for you. Jeez, whenever you're drinking, like, alcohol, make sure you're also drinking water. Although I don't have any here. It's actually empty, so I need to fill this up. That is what keeps you rolling for longer. Ooh, great recovery here by Ouija. He went for the most, the sweetest of the spots the world has ever seen. Oh. oh, and just like that, the back air connects and Ouija takes that stock very, very nicely. Oh, but a big stomp to an up air. Let's see, Miranda is still fighting. We might, if this match uh, ends up too fast, we might just hop into uh, Trail versus Freezes. Ouija tried to swag and end up just falling to his death. Still under control of this match. A little big stomp. Misses the wave land. We're back here. Oh, the second one. Oh my goodness, Miranda is so sick right now. Dude, if he clutches this, I'll just give him the 2-0 victory. Not gonna lie. I, I will corrupt you all my way. Okay, I won't need to cor corrupt you all my way into that, but 
Hot damn! Did Miranda look good in those two uh, two stocks there? Holy moly! Those actually look like, looking absolutely hot. Absolutely hot. All right. Uh, after this match, guys, we might hop into Freezes versus Trail real quick if they're still playing, since Freezes is already broadcasting to us. But with that said, we should have Ipoodle versus Logan, which should be a good match for us uh, on Wave 3 here. And it looks like Mech and Regulate are completely DQ'd, which makes me very, very sad because this was supposed to be a 12-player group stage, and it's going to be a 10-player group stage with not many signs of life. Uh... It is what it is. I will have a, an announcement by the end of the stream, or maybe before before uh, Grand Finals. I might try doing that. Oh no, wait. Is it back, please? To be honest, I'm banning any of the cures from Finals. Ah, uh, yeah, man, it's Logan. Thank you so much for being here, Logan. Yeah, thank you so much for being here. You are the type of people that make this a little bit worth it. Even though, like, you didn't message as much as well to confirm that you're there. At least you're here. But it, it really sucks, dude. It, it's very disencouraging. Like, for example, Kubi is a player that played all weeks and is here around. But, like, he never watched the video to understand how the season works. How the finals work. Yeah. It really sucks. But I I probably won't be continuing these events in the future. So that, that's it. I already give you spoilers about the future of the Melee Sick Pro series. Yeah. But that's the thing, like you want to win, you're taking this seriously. And it really sucks because the hardest thing I've ever find as like as a TO for online events is trying to make people care. Wow, they traded with the nipple spike, insane. And Ouija actually SDs. And Miranda almost gives a homie stock. Oh, the double stomp into an edge cancel. Oh my god, Ouija's. Oh my god, Ouija. Yeah, man. Like I wish everybody was was more like you. Like we have many players that are really dedicated and really. Yeah, at least that is is not making the the brackets look very, really scuffed. If if it was uh, if it was actually, oh my god, he went for the the reverse bear. That is insane. Ouija is on another level right now. Let's switch gears as fast as possible because freezes might still be playing versus trail. They haven't reported game. Oh, game one, freezes took it. That is a surprise. So let's definitely head there for an absolutely hype match. They're still selecting stages for game two. So uh, they took their sweet time and we're going in. Let me uh, let me fix these names here. Cause, oh shoot, that's not what I wanna do. Don't drink and stream guys, that's what happens. So here we have Freezes, who's actually 1-0 versus trails uh lovely ice climbers and he actually gets a sh an early shine spike here on this game too to give himself the sharpest of the edges into game three but as you can see trail with the absolute control finds the f smash here and evens out the situation oh <gasps> Freezes! Oh my goodness! He puts himself in a great position once more. Can Freezes actually 2 old trail here? That would be amazing for him with the potential of actually going uh No Fluxes versus Ouija. That is incredible by Freezes right here. Thank you. 
freezes ahead once more. And he finds a shine spike again, and that's it. Are you guys kidding me? Freezes won 2 0 versus Trail. What an insane result here. This is definitely not as expected by the bracket. So we're going to go ahead and give uh, Mac full DQs here because he did not show up and is messing up the entire situation. And also G regulate is on the same situation. Didn't show up is already 430. So we're going to go ahead and, and give regulate full DQs. Uh, when you try your best and you don't succeed. Okay, so with that, I believe we can start wave three. After I just DQ these two players here. All right, so. Let me get the code to Logan, because now it's wave three. Which means... It's going to be Logan versus Zipudo on stream, but we also have Kubi versus Freezes. Uh, Trail has your weight, and we have J-Salt versus No Fluxes. And Frigid versus Miranda. All right. And unfortunately, one of the players has to wait because all these other homies. Unfortunately, two players didn't show up to play here, messing up the entire bracket. Very, very sad. What's up, Auto? Uh, we're going to move ahead with Logan versus Ipudo. Should be a very competitive match as well, based on the seeding, am I right? We might have to wait a little bit because Ipoodle is actually 1-1 one, one versus Scooby. Let's go, Ipoodle. Lots of good matches here. That's insane. That is actually hype. So I'm going to go ahead and see. So J-Salt is going to play Fluxus. Ah, uh... oh, man, I don't know how long this is going to take. Let's hop in here just for one game. J Salt versus No Fluxes. Or should we wait for Kubi e Poodle? I guess we should wait. Was Kubi e Poodle? Uh, yeah, that was wave two. They're taking their sweet time here. But it's a competitive match. E Poodle is probably putting the pressure here on, on, on Kubi. Very, very interesting, which means we're only going to say goodbye to one player per bracket instead of two, since we have one DQ on each side, making things very competitive. The top eight tonight is going to be hot. And yeah, should have three to four more matches on, on stream, guys, so stay tuned. We should be moving on here. Let me open up uh, Kubi's stream here, just to so have an idea. How his match is underway. Damn, freaking Twitch ads. Oh, they're two stocks apiece. Ipudo actually. Oh, he gets hit by the fair. Can he recover? He actually can. Good, good stuff. I'm gonna cast just like the radio. He finds it back here. And the NF smash that kills. Okay, but he's pretty much dead as well. Kubi can just find any sequence here. But if Ipudo wins this, that is actually ultra hot for him. Why can't we see it? Just uh, hop on Kubi's stream. Uh, none of them are streaming. None of them are broadcasting. And we're going to watch Ipudo's next match. If he wins this, this is extremely important. He finds a grab. Kubi 55, Ipudo at like... 30 now 40 
50. They're, they're ultra even on the last stock. Could be finding an insane sequence here. He has a jump. Oh, and a big fair. Whoa, he let him recover. Oh, Kubi potentially throwing. Oh, that was almost a tipper. Ah, uh, and Chick is so lame, dude. Chick is so lame. Oh my god, if Pluto definitely deserved it. Yo, thank you so much, Mr. Sukun. Appreciate it, my friend. Welcome, welcome to the Scouts. Yo, dishwasher. More than welcome, my friend. Thank you so much for the happy birthday wishes. Uh, we should be heading into E Poodle versus Logan. My, uh, the lovely Logan is already broadcasting to us, so that should be the next match. E Poodle got very close. He's stealing all my viewers that I couldn't have on this stream here. Feels horrible, man. But there we go. There we have it. All right. So now we're going to have Ipudo versus Logan. Should be a very competitive match. Finally, yo, dishwasher prime scout times five. Thank you for the herp, the, the birthday gift. That's the best birthday gift we can expect here on twitch.tv slash scout floor, dude. It's so hype. This season finals are getting hot here. I am, I don't want to start making calculations, but it's definitely gonna be uh, a little bit close, a little bit close on uh who's gonna go where so frigid and no fluxes they check in or uh they've already checked in so right now yeah right now we're going back to pool number two should be logan versus e poodle they're doing the the stage striking and Ipudo, oh man, lots of green players tonight. So Ipudo, player number two versus Logan. So me as a Brazilian, guys, as you are aware, I play green colors, green and yellow colors. So we have uh, Ipudo versus Logan, Green Marv versus Green Sheik. Should be lots of fun. And we're just waiting for them to finalize the lovely stage striking. So Ipudo so far, almost doing well. He lost to Trey, which is expected, and lost to Kubi, which could have been a W. It was the last stock situation. And unfortunately, Sheik is just too lame. It is what it is. Uh, memes aside, on group number one, pool one here, no upsets yet. All right, gents. I think they're ready to rock, guys, and so are we we're about to head in game number one logan versus e poodle but starting with those grabs the mar specialty and as you can see we have the mill hd effects here with the marf green sword trail as you can see we bring in the most hdness effects you can always expect good usage of the air here i've been noticing how uh on point, Ipudo has been with his uh, movement choices here. There are many times where... Wow, that, that is really not expected. 
uh, or Ipoodle is opting to go for those safe nares and just potentially forcing a, an edge guard situation. Because even if he doesn't get the stock yet, at least he keeps stage control. At least he's in a better position uh, going back to neutral. And if he's confident enough about the way he deals with it, it's totally worth it, am I right? The Logan, just like that, answers back. Finds the needles, and the game is even. And that is why I picked some of these games, guys. I tried my best to pick games that I thought were going to be as even as possible. Oh, he finds the tipper. That's not enough. Good DI by Logan. We will need some... Wow! Amazing M's attack here. Guys, this is what you can expect when you watch the Scouts Weekly Smash Melee Sick Pro Series. Insane amount of skill here. The spot dodge by Logan. I mean, Ipodo's choice on the up B there to kill was amazing. And the absolute nuttiness of Logan to get the M's attack there and survive. Which makes this still the second stock of each player. They trade, but Logan was on the right side of history there. Managing to survive. At 150 though... That is probably not going to last much. Yeah, sour spot F smash at that percentage just finishes the job. And here we are. Two stocks apiece. Logan is still comboing. Oh, but he finds a very important... Very important fair there. He's still doing it. Remember, guys, that uh, no Johns, but Ipuro apparently has his hands in a bad shape. He still wanted to uh, to compete, to show that he's good enough. So I admire that. Although I told him, like, dude, if it's really messed up, please, like, don't uh, don't finish destroying your hands because of this tournament. Like, keeping your hands working is definitely more important than getting a. Uh, a melee sick trophy. Although not gonna lie, this trophy is really sick. This is probably my magnum opus. You know, my my overall highest achievement in art. And speaking of art, that was this game one for Logan here. Very, very nicely taking control over it, making sure he got everything done. And yeah, he's doing great making, getting that game one clutched out. Very good for him. Uh, I believe I called out all round three matches. Yep, I did. Good to go, good to go. Coming up next, we were gonna, we're gonna have Frigid versus Fluxus on, after this match, although, who knows how fast this is going to take. Melee Lover. Melee Lover, I believe this is Frigid. So that is cool that he's broadcasting. Just hope he understands that he's not supposed to be playing yet. But this is going to be hype, guys. After this match, we should go to Frigid versus No Fluxes. And this is going to be hype. going to be absolutely hype. Right, game two coming up for Logan versus uh, E Poodle. It was a very close match. Logan is technically seated below due to his. Uh, he didn't play during the season as much, so the, the, the seating for this was taken directly from that. Lots of green in this scenario here. Look at that. Lots of sh different shades. Oh, and that is a that might be a stock. No, Poodle, how could you do this? He's dropping a couple of very important, very important hits here. The match has just began, so should be able to uh, iron that out. Is that it? Okay. Okay, yeah, takes the stock. Takes a while. 
But that's good. He's practicing his neutral, guys. He told me. He's just doing that to make sure he's always keeping the, the neutral game as good as it can be. Wow, I thought he was gonna go for it. <laughs> oh, wait, is he Pluto memeing? Is he like saving his fingers? I don't know. I don't know. It's it's looking it's looking interesting here, Ipudo. Great movement. I'll almost find a secondary up tilt there. But leads just so much. Has the presence of mind to the eye away as much as possible. The lovely combo DI. Finds the app smash. Not a tipper, but he will find a back air. And that is not a dead cheek because it dropped. What are you doing, Ipuro? He's dropping so many things that this should be kind of free. Okay, good good idea by Logan there. That is not a dead Logan yet. Not a lost stock. Oh my god, Ipuro! <laughs> what are you doing? That cannot be due to broken fingers. Come on. I will not accept it. <laughs> All right, Logan probably taking the stock here, and maybe he has some magic, and he can close the set out. But this game looking much better for Ipudo here. They keep trading. And the percents are very similar, but if you can notice, Ipudo is one stock ahead. Logan, slow getup. He saves him again! I don't think he was gonna make it. Ipuro is literally giving uh, homie... It's not homie stocks, it's like homie interactions. He's literally giving Logan the opportunity. It might be a mistake, so not being 100% judgmental towards Ipuro here. And again, remember that his hands are kind of scuffed right now. Goes for a low recovery. Managed to get back. The dash attack doesn't finish him. And he still has the other stock to work. Goes for the down throw. He is dead. Alright, can Logan gimp him with some needlework? Nah, he's gonna get hit by the up tilt. And Ipuro forces a game three here. We'll see. Look at that. Those lovely scan lines going on here, guys. This is a sign that this is a true beauty of a CRT. I have things connected down there. For that you know climatic experience let me get some water i'll leave this uh, in here real quick actually no i can watch this and we will actually no i'm gonna get some water real quick and probably i'm gonna get more whiskey <laughs> There we have it. Uh, my friends, remember to always drink responsibly. Don't disrespect the law. And don't force the issue. And here we have it. Game 3. Also, cheers, by the way. Thank you so much for being here and celebrating my 30th birthday. Together with some amazing melee action here. We do like our Smash action here, be it on any game. But today, what we're presenting is some melee hypeness. Ooh, and that up air is actually gonna kill. He actually went all the way. Three stocks apiece. How does we move from here? Finds a grab. Oh, the slow get up. Took him too long. You wish he could make his opponent go farther, but... Wow, what? Uh, 
That was a clank? Am I hearing things here? Good drift there by Ipuru. And he finds the down tilt. All right. Not too bad for Logan here. He's, he has Ipuru on the, ho on the ropes here. Yo, Neologism 1. Gladiator Scout two times. Neologism 1 is in the house. Cheers, my homie. I have here some ice cold whiskey and some water, of course. Remember, drink responsibly, guys. Never go overboard. And have some lovely water to pad things out. You know what gets you a hangover? It's actually your brain getting dehydrated. So if you keep drinking water while you drink some alcoholic beverages, pretty much doesn't balance it out. Wow. Logan actually reversing the situation here. Putting Ipuru on the spot. He needs to find a good sequence here. He avoids the needles with the getup attack. Finds the nair. Oh my goodness. Wow, he doesn't drift. What? What is Logan doing? Well, let's talk situation here in game three. Ipuru was just through this versus Scooby. And he's in this position again. And I believe it was actually FOD when he was playing game three versus uh, versus Scooby. It was the last stock situation. Wow, what a tipper. Ipuru clutches it out, guys. And he is moving on. Wow. Great performance here. Shout out to all the homies going on. And with that said... We should be moving on to our next match, which is going to be Wave 4. Uh, frigid. Let's hop on to the lovely Melee Lover here, which is uh, Frigid. It's a sleepy tag. Is uh, giving me a hard time figuring it out. F of these freaking losers. <laughs> Dude, that was close, man. Yeah. No, good good stuff, Logan. Oh, my God, dude. It was actually close. Actually, very, very competitive. I was right in picking up the matches that I picked to be uh, very competitive ones. Let me call out the next one. So, Wave 4. J-Salt versus Ouija. Uh, and then on the other side, we have Trail versus Logan. Kubi versus... Actually, no. Regulate is also DQ. And Ipoodle versus Freezes. Those are the four matches of Wave 4. And then after this match, if all things go, you know, correctly, if they move on correctly, we should have Kubi versus Trail on stream. Which should be a lot of hype. A lot of hype. Poodle versus... No, which one is on stream? Frigid versus Fluxus. Yeah, this is going to be good. This is going to be good. Uh, I believe they're doing stage striking right now. So. We are ready to go, guys. This is it. They cure me versus this, so I don't want to wait around for she again. I showed up at least. Well, thank you, Mr. Miranda. I appreciate the effort, my friend. Uh, wish we could have had a, a better bracket. But. I understand. Thank you so much, dude. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. If you want to, you know, stick around to just enjoy the matches, feel free to. We should have a great time here. No worries, my friend. Stay true. All right. No fluxes versus frigid coming up. 
Yo, thank you so much for the gifted sub. You should show it right now. There it is. Club Penguin Dance, also known as the lovely Miranda, making Ouija a prime scout. All right. We had Frigid on stream before, which was not expected, but it is what it is. Thank you so much, Miranda, for the birthday gift. Appreciate it. Means a lot. Love you guys. All right. Cheers. Another whiskey shot. Woo. And there we go. There we have it. <laughs> no fluxes. Dude. <laughs> Netflix starts the game with a big fair. Thank you so much, man, for the support. Man, where's Komodo? Komodo should be here. He's been a, a classic member of the scouts, high tier level. Also, uh, what's his name again? This bracket would be totally different if we had Komodo, if we had... Uh, Freaking Kuya, dude. Kuya was Gladiator Scout Season 2 in, in Seasons 2 and 3. Yeah. You see, dude, that, that's what makes me sad about... Like, there's a part of me that feels guilty about not wanting to continue this series. Because I believe I do a good job. At the same time, like, the... The direct... Let's say, not direct support, but like, what I get back from doing this, it, it, it doesn't like pay off as much. So, wow, no fluxes. Doesn't even allow us to have a little bit of a conversation during the middle of the cast. Actually, let me look at his results here. What's the, how's his bracket looking up for him? He has one win, one loss, and one DQ. Yeah, he needs to win this. And he needs to win versus Ouija. That's what will define. But it sucks, dude. It really sucks, because, like, I believe I can do a good job. But it's just hard to make people care. Like, you have no idea how much it affects me. The fact that uh, two players didn't show up to play. Because I specifically, I very, very specifically ask people, hey... Can you play? I only want to confirm people that can be there. You know? But... I guess it is what it is. Like, if you don't put money down... Uh, I, I think that's what I should... I should ask people to make a deposit for me. Okay, like, deposit me $10. And then, if you play the tournament, then I'll give you your $10 back. That, that would help a lot. Because otherwise, like, it just sucks. Like, I don't want people to DQ. Although, like, in your case, like, your last match, I understand. Like, it, it won't change your results. But outside of that, it just really sucks. Really, really sucks. Because I want to have people playing this in this finals. People that want to be around here. Which, like, think about J-Salt, for example. J-Salt is a very good player. He could play other tournaments and stuff. But he knows. He, he likes the trophies. He likes to be around, so he's here. Yeah. I I might like try to do more uh, in in real life stuff, like organize tournaments for for my city here, and try to make it like cool enough that people from close to Ontario would show up. Because now I have a little bit of I have much more knowledge and experience. But yeah, people don't take these uh, online tournaments as seriously. I guess if there's no money involved, they're just like, eh. Wow, no flexes is really finding those those exchanges. He's really taking it to another level here. But anyway, let's not focus on the bad parts. Let's focus on this hype match going on here. Can Fridge do something about fluxes here? Fluxes is a player that also has been very, very excited to be around. That is awesome, dude. Let's go Florida. Uh, so Fluxes, again, is a player that has been uh, very excited. Oh, he got a reverse. Poor Frigid. Ok. 
could have gotten the stock here to put himself in a good position. The reads from Flexes are just that good. Like, that fair hit that he just got there was actually nuts. What is Frigid doing? Another reverse. And Ganon can actually go get back. Nah, okay. Frigid guards the edge. That was a very, very weird interaction here. Ooh. Oh, a big stomp. Into grab. He tried to read the roll. The double raptor boost. Wombo combo. That is the reverse when you need it, you don't get it. Oh, this is so sad for Frigid, dude. Frigid's a solid Blair, like, don't get me wrong. Okay, that is the reverse. Finally hits. Let's go, Frigid. Nothing but respects for all these players here. Like, no fluxes. He has been feeling like last season he got fifth place. So he was just shy of getting the medal. And he has been holding that, not grudges, but like, he said he was still like, he was still kind of sick due to COVID. And he actually got COVID. And fortunately survived. But the reality is like he, he wasn't playing to his absolute max when he... Yeah, okay, no fluxes. Clutches it. Let's go. All right. Good stuff here. And we're going to move on to the last wave of the season. I mean, off the group stage, right? Am I wrong? No, I am right. Okay, hopefully, let me refresh the pages here, and yeah, rest of the matches here on pool number one, should be looking good to go, Trail is 1-0 in Logan so far, oh uh, yeah, so J-Salt should be done with it, now quick bit, do you guys want to watch a little bit of J-Salt? I didn't schedule any matches for him on stream because I was confident he was going to make it to the top eight. Where is his match? It's not loading. That is weird. Oh, well. We'll just wait a little bit more. We just have a couple more matches to go. Shouldn't take us that long. Oh, we just connected when the game ended. So it looks like pool number one is almost done. Should maybe ping test before next set. Oh, yeah. Wait, with no fluxes or Kubi? <laughs> yeah. uh, no, no, you guys can play. You guys can play, actually. And then Jay saw, yeah, yeah. Oh, j -Sod is lagging? Come on. I don't... I didn't... I didn't know j -Sod was a lagger. At j -Sod, his net's been spicy lately. Oh, no. Come on. Go on his stream and complain. Say, yo, are you kidding me? Are you gonna lag my tournament? Oh, yeah. You're done. J Salt is done. He's already making top eight. It's going to have a little bit of a break. So, guys, the last wave of the group stage is going on, which should mean uh, Ouija versus No Fluxes. Wave five now to finish things off. Ouija versus No Fluxes. Trail versus Kubi. On stream, one of you broadcast, please. Ipudo versus Regulators and Frame, Freezes versus Logan. And that's it. All right. Actually, Logan versus Freezes are already. Oh no, Le Trail and Logan are playing. So we need Tro uh, Freezes versus Logan. They're going to play next. 
and then we should be done with the group stage guys let's go let's go gentlemen ladies and gentlemen this is it we're gonna move to the final match off the group stage here that we're gonna stream and then we're gonna go with the top eight so in the top eight let me actually uh make sure i have things set up we are gonna make sure we have uh all of the matches that define who's gonna take one of these trophies right so that are that is the winners winner semis and losers quarters all those matches we're gonna have on stream because they are matches that define who takes a trophy and that is a very important thing to have now let me see something i don't have a, a stream setup that sucks. I have to add one. Okie dokie. Is that on dashboard and events? I don't even remember. Oh, stations and streams. There you go. I have to add a stream. Twitch. Oh, it's got a flu. There we go. I just added it. Now, let's go to the top eight and make sure we get all of them. So we need either Kubi or the amazing. Logan actually taking one game versus Trail. Dude, Logan actually being clutch. I wish this was being streamed. We could potentially watch it. Now we have to wait because no Fluxes and Ouija's are playing. So we can actually watch that for a little bit. Let's just have something on stream for more content. Am I right? Another Ganon Falcon. Dude, what a bracket this was. Holy moly. Three Falcons, two Ganons. Okay, so this is Ouija versus No Fluxes. I'll leave this running while I uh, work on something real quick. But thank you so much, everybody, for being around. Really appreciate it. We're gonna have pretty much the top six streamed. So stay tuned for that. It's going to be a lot of fun. We might watch the end of this game here and then wait for uh, Kubi versus Stray, which is going to be a very important match. Because so far... Actually, no, Kubi might come out as number one. It really depends on this match. Because since Stray dropped the game for freezes... And freezes has to play Logan. Ooh, dude, this is going to be clutch. It's actually going to be clutch. So, if Trail wins versus Kubi, well, there's no tiebreakers, but we have the tiebreaker uh, definitions, right? So, according to Smash.gg, what happens is, let me go to the bracket setup here, real quick, guys. The bracket setup. Let me show you. So, for round robin, it will count total sets won, game win percentage, and then head-to-head. -head. 
So this might hurt Kubi, because if Trey wins, particular if, particularly if Trey wins 2-0 versus Kubi, he will, I believe he will have the edge, even though he is, he, he is 1-1 versus Logan. Unless Logan can take a game, can take the next game from Trail, which of course is a possibility. So this pool number two here is actually getting really uh, tight, really really tight. Very important matches here, but pool number one is pretty much defined here. We have J Salt perfectly going on with a five-hole victory, no games dropped. And this match here, Ouija versus No Fluxes. They're all both of these guys are going to the top four. I'm just trying to see if either of them can actually go to the upper bracket. Because Ouija right now is 2-2 and Frigid is 3-2. So Ouija needs to win this 100%. If he doesn't win, then no fluxes goes to the upper bracket as well. Wow, dude, this is really intense. This match means a lot. We might leave it soon to watch Kubi versus Treo. Oh, they just ended. You know what? I'm just gonna tell. And no flex is a little bit ahead, but he's at 118%. Can Ouija guard the edge? No, he was the one that had to up B. Wow. Finds a strong stomp into an up air and the back. All right, two stocks apiece, 0% each. That's when you know players are super even. I've had this, uh, I've had this occurrence in season two, guys where we had two players from Ontario, uh, you guys might know, Neologism and Rene, also known as the Rini, the evil Rini. They played each other on winner's side, and then grand finals, and then grand finals reset, which was nuts, right? It was insane. And they actually went game five on all of those sets. So in total, during one bracket, they faced each other 15 times. And out of those 15 times, if I'm not mistaken, oh, that little foot from No Flux is with the upper. Out of those 15 games, eight of them, eight of them, Neo, you you might not, re you might, you might have forgotten about it, but I have the, the files here. I have the evidence, dot zip. Uh, I have all the replay files from that those grand finals and pretty much the entire tournament there. Uh, you guys got to like two stocks each, zero percent, right? On on all those fifteen games, in eight of those games, you guys were took like the second stocks. You traded perfectly that. At one point in, in eight games, you guys are were two stocks each, 0%. It just went to show how even those two players were. It was one of the most surprising things ever. And no fluxes wants to 100% guarantee himself in the upper bracket. will take the big W. And with that, we finished off all the matches for group number one. Which will mean we have G-Salt in no fluxes winner side. Frigid and Ouija loser side of the top eight. Good stuff here. Congratulations to both uh, to all four players. We will we'll move on and we'll, we might see them playing on the finals. And now we're going to one of the last matches of the night. It should be Kubi versus Trail. This is a big decider. Uh, yep, yeah, they are ready to go. Kubi, player number one. Let me get this going. 
And no flux is actually bringing the ICs. Oh, not no flux. This is Streo. Sorry. Too many Ganondorfs in my bracket, guys. We had 12 players. Okay. Out of those 12 players, we had three, che three Sheiks, four Falcons, three Ganondorfs, <laughs> one Fox, one Marv, uh, and what? And one Icy slash the, the Ganondorf. This is crazy. It's, it's the most insane combination of players you could ever expect. And yeah, but guys, this is it. This is the season five finals. All of these players are playing for these lovely trophies here. Oh no, I messed up the second place one. Well, it's not really a messed up because here's the thing. Let me show you guys how creative I am, right? I need to ship this. So if I send the trophy exactly like how it comes, it would be messed up. So I make it in two parts. As you guys can see here, it says, let it be bestowed upon you. The title of Gladiator Scout. And here we have the actual trophy. So there's one made for... Yeah, no, you guys can play. You guys can play, Logan. Thank you for asking, but you guys just go ahead. And we're ready to go. Damn. Kubi versus Treo is starting right now. The last match on stream that we should have. Unless Freezes and Logan go the distance. Which, if that happens, then we uh, just hop in there to check it out. But yeah, we have two parts here, guys. I ship those parts separately, and you just build the trophy. Very, very nice. You just put them here. It's a little bit finicky here with... Because uh, since this is... I might actually switch the base to make one that is more tight. But yeah, there we have. We have a lovely trophy. <coughs> Expertly made by the oh no I put this in the wrong the wrong side I'm dumb there we have it and all right guys Kubi versus Trail very hype match here Kubi loses Nana and loses Popo not Kubi I mean Trail so Kubi a little bit ahead here starting game number one this game defines who's going to take the highest seed. Which, remember, based on the results from the from group number one. Based on the results from group number one, we will have... Um, yes, that is correct. Okay, so whoever wins this plays no fluxes whoever loses plays j salt so if you want to guarantee him yourself a better chance with all due respect to the players of course but just based on seating if you want to guarantee yourself your best chance you need to win this you absolutely need to oh no <gasps> dude logan one versus trail wow this is totally unexpected this is crazy actually so, I'm so dumbfounded right now. This could be so insane. Because Ipudo ended 2-2. Kubi is going to end either 4-0 or 4-2. And by the looks of it, it could be 3-1. Oh, 4-0, sorry, for Kubi. Which means Kubi would play no fluxes. This is crazy. I didn't see the result. I just refreshed the page, guys. And Logan actually won versus E Poodle. Oh, sorry, versus Trail. And Trail is throwing. And I also have them on opposite sides, which is my bad. My B. So this is Scooby, actually. And he opened up the scoreboard with 1 0. And Trail is behind. Is Trail throwing? That is the question. We'll never know. But guys, please check out our bracket. Use the exclamation bracket uh, command in the chat so you can check out our br lovely bracket, our top eight. We're actually going to show it on stream real soon. Uh, so Logan actually, uh, actually, sorry, Freezes open 1-0 versus Logan and Kubi opened up 1-0 versus Trail. Those are the two last matches going on. 
And game two is starting right now. Trail counter picks to Pokemon Stadium. And this is a very important matchup here. Trail, uh, Trail absolutely needs this. But even if he wins, I am not 100% sure. Because uh, it will take in account game uh, the game game count, and I I don't know. Like Ipudo had two wins, but it was all two ones. One of his losses was actually two one as well to the opponent, so that's not half bad for him. So that is crazy. So far, it's actually Kubi versus Ipudo. And if Logan can actually win versus Freezes, which he would need to win the next two games, he would potentially... This is incre incredible. You are not out. You are not out. You are already... Check the top 8 bracket. Ouija, you are in the top 8 bracket. Since we had a DQ... Uh... And you were not last. Unfortunately, Miranda was the last one. He's a homie. Dude, you played crazy. You just need to play crazy both games. Don't play crazy just game one. All right, Trail gets the first stock here. Trail absolutely needs it. If he wants to start top eight uh, upper side, he needs to win this, like, right now. Because at best, he's going to tie up with Ipuro. And then we're going to have to see who had the best scores. Oh, that's not a kill. Kubi doesn't. Oh, still gets a hit. Oh my goodness, dude! This is so incredibly clutch. Oh, he doesn't get it. Trail, trying to finds the back here. Down smash doesn't kill. What? How is this a thing? But yeah, Ouija, you're... <gasps> no, Trail, what? Oh my god, dude. Dude, Trail absolutely needs this. Like, he 100% he needs this. Otherwise, he's gonna have to play from the lower bracket. But if he loses 2-0, there's a chance he might not even make top 8. And Logan can overtake him. Because Logan has... I mean, uh, I mean... Uh... It would depend. Logan would have to win versus Freezes, which right now he's 0-1. Freezes won game one versus him. He needs to win versus Freezes. And then I'm not sure. But he would have the head-to-head -head versus Trail. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is actually crazy. There's a chance Trail might not make top eight. Oh no, but Freezes wins. So yeah, okay. So I think things are kind of defined now. We might be done. In here. Group 1 is, is over. So our top 8 is being calculated here. This is the last match before the top 8 starts, guys. So hype it up. Yeah, okay. Even with this current result, Trail is still ahead of Logan. So unfortunately, we're going to say goodbye to Logan. Uh, Kubi is already first place, no matter this result. Although, if Trail were to win the set, Bowman 2 3. So, isn't Trail out if he loses? No, no, no. Oh, I mean, yo, wait, that's true. That is true. Wait, if Kubi, oh my god, I don't know, dude, this is crazy. Kubi's still living. It goes by games one. That's correct. First, the first it sets one, then games one. Head to head is the last is the last uh, turn. Oh my God, Logan! You actually had the head. You have to head to head versus versus Trail. I just don't know if he has more games than you. Nana is out. Trail would need a miracle here. He literally needs a miracle. Oh my god. He finds the ferret, and that is it. Oh my god, dude. This is actually happening. Or is it? 2-0 for Kubi. I need to go to the bathroom. 
Hi, Ipuru, what's up? You're still in. Why are you saying GG's? <gasps> Dude, okay, let me let they they input the scores. I will confirm for Treo to make things faster. Oh my god. Let me refresh the page. Let me see here. Okay, Treo. Dude, oh my god. This is so close. You guys won't believe it. So, Treo has a record of 3-6. And Logan has a record of 3-7. Because Logan lost one more game, one extra game. Wait, how is this a thing? Oh yeah, it's because he Logan one of uh, one of Logan's the only Logan win was two one, where while Trails win was two zero. Oh. Holy shit, dude! This was so incredibly close. And here's the thing: if uh if either e Trail had dropped a game to Ipudo, or if Logan's win versus Trail was two zero. Oh, Oh my god, Ipuru, you could have you could have eliminated Trail. I am Brasileiro. I am 100 percent Brazilian. So Brasileiro. Ha ha ha. Dude, holy oh shit, this is insane. Trail, because he won versus Ipuru 2-0 and not 2-1. <laughs> okay, seriously guys, pay attention to this, okay? If Ipuru had won a game versus Trail, he would have the exact same set. Uh, set wins and game wins uh, as Logan and then the last tiebreaker method is head-to-head -head. and the head-to-head -head between Logan and Trail, Logan won <laughs> dude and Logan, if he had won cleanly versus uh, versus Trail if it was a 2-0 instead of a 2-1 he would have won, so this was unbelievably close uh, so shoutouts to Logan for actually making things very hype here because he clutched that win versus versus uh, Trail here, bringing out the Marv. And let me show you guys our top eight finalists. This is it. These are all our uh, players here that will be playing the top eight. Thank you so much. We have lots of lovely flags here and there. And this is it. Yo, chill. Uh, and this is it, guys. The group stage. Not all, but most. All right. Uh, J Salt, you go first. So this is it. Top eight is ready. J Salt is going to go first versus Freezes. And we're going to have that on stream. They're both streaming, so I'm going to hop on J Salt stream. Meanwhile, all right, our top eight is ready, guys. Shout out to all these amazing players here. Bringing up the height. We're gonna watch J Salt versus Freezes first, and then Kubi versus No Fluxes next. So shout outs. If he put beats you. <laughs> What's up, Ouija? I'm setting up a star. You got it free. <laughs> Dude, this is a hype top A. All in all, Trail versus Frigid and Ouija versus E Poodle. Wow. Okay, guys. So, JSON versus Freeze is going first. Uh, Trail versus Frigid off stream. Uh, Ouija versus E Poodle off stream. Uh, all else. Wait. Guys, cheers. Shout out to all of you coming here to enjoy this amazing top eight that we just had. I don't know what he's talking about. What is he complaining about? Freeze. Oh, freeze is actually top bra upper bracket. I just realized that. So they have so Freezes and Ipuro have three two three two, but Freezes' wins were actually two O's instead of two ones.
All right, not gonna lie, dude. Like having a group stage can actually be extremely exciting if if people are uh, actually following it up. So yeah, we're gonna start with J Salt versus Freezes, guys. Uh, let me actually take a little bit of a break to head to the washroom. So uh, Freezes, you guys can uh, hand warm real quick while I take a little bit of a leak, and I'll catch you guys real quick here for our first match of the top eight coming up j salt versus freezes don't go anywhere Alright, I am back. Uh, so, Trail make it over Logan because he had a better uh, a better winning record. So, J Salt player one. And Freezes player. Oh, player one actually. I'm so drunk right now, guys. Holy moly. Kek W's in the chat. Uh, this is. Winners, semis. All right, we're ready to go. Freezes, you can get started. I know you're listening, so do it for great justice. All right, we're going in, guys. Damn, this production quality is kind of sick. Thank you so much, Alicia Ray. Welcome to the Scouts. We're here bringing up the hype. Winner Sammy's freezes versus J Salt match number one here, the first best of five of the evening. Guys, just so you know, these players are not completing for money because money is money important in life, sure, but you can make money doing anything. But here's the thing if you want one of these amazing trophies here, let me show you these amazing shine style trophies, goes from fourth place to first place. The only way to get these is to place top four in this bracket. No way around it. But now connects and freezes just decides to give up after getting a nice percent on JSALT here. Almost gets the shine spike. So, yes, and we are streaming the winner semis because first is winner semis, but second, because whoever wins this match already guarantees himself. A third place, yo! For a second, I thought that Freezes <laughs> had subscribed while playing. That would be the most insane amount of, uh, of uh, you know, what's it called again? Multitasking. I believe J Salt is Louisiana. I can check that for you in a quick second. Let me just make sure. Uh, yeah, LA is actually Louisiana, right? Damn, I, I need to learn the state's uh, sharpenings. I think you're right. Yeah, LA. 
You have to zoom out until it becomes the letters. Yeah, Louisiana. That is correct. East Coast showing their their uh, their efforts here, but it's true. All right, let's go. Freezes? Actually, I had. Are you kidding me? Until he just you know drops too much. He is a beast indeed. And as you can see, if you notice the listen rate. Check the back of Sheik's, and you see the the first place uh, number in red there. That signals that Mr. J Salt was the number one last season. He managed to win one of the lovely medals that I crafted. Mm, this is dangerous. You can still make it back. But freezes. Ah, oh, this is so harsh. Yeah, he just decides to give up. He was ahead. But two stocks later, J Salt. If Freezes wins, managed to win this, it would be so absolutely insane. Like, it would guarantee his dream. Because he gets a, a guaranteed third place. This is what matters here, guys. Mm. He makes it back. He's still fairly healthy at 54. Not so much anymore, but he's still going. Freezes. This is the grab. Finds the back air. All right, let's talk situation. Game one. Freezes is doing absolutely a lot in this first game here. He's... With all due respects, I'm, I'm already surprised that he's... Uh... Yeah, he goes for the angle. Not perfect, and JSOL clutches it out. But not bad. He's been doing very well. Brilliant idea. Just flub the execution. My god, that would have been gross. Indeed, indeed. You are correct, Alicia. All right, game two coming up. Alicia, let me know if you like the HD-ness of our melee here at the Scouts Weekly Smash, very own Monday night. Oh, today's not Monday, but okay. It is a Monday event that leads into these lovely Saturday finals. Oh, the SDI by Jay Salt. He doesn't want to get comboed a lot. Takes it back with the side B, but still getting hit. That would have been insane. I don't think JSOL would have expected it, but great stuff for him by actually getting to the ledge first. Clutch grab that he got there. Yeah, we're not gonna kill yet, but the back here surely got close. Oh, he got the weak hit. Okay, but the, the the falling up air strong hit freezes. And he's been saying on his stream and over, over the past few weeks just, Oh, dude, I'm, I'm not playing as well. Uh, <laughs> what are you talking about, Alicia Ray? Who are you directing that message to? <laughs> Logan! Oh, come on, Freezes! No! No! Keep the composure. He was doing so well. No! When you try your best and you don't succeed. Okay, maybe he just doesn't like Stadium. No, he's going back to Stadium. Okay. Alright, game three, guys. Remember to drink responsibly. Yo, Oasis Mango. Thank you so much, Mr. Devin. Dude, I'm 30. I cannot believe I'm 30. I'm so freaking old. Yo, uh... Yo, Devin. Hit my, hit my WhatsApp up, dude. Just send me a message. Just send me a random message so I, I remind myself to send you another one back. I actually... 
Bam! I actually, now that things are getting better, I actually feel like we should. I want to see you and um, and Luke again. I miss you guys. I know our uh, professional relationship was fairly quick, but you guys are, are great homies, not gonna lie. <laughs> Thanks for the, the birthday wishes, by the way. I got my second dose too. Oh, that's hype, dude. Your second already? Mine is only scheduled for uh, for September, so might take a while. But it's all right. Are you a Pfizer gang or or Moderna gang? All right. Looks like JSalt just is taking control over the set. Pfizer, let's go, Pfizer gang. I'm a Pfizer gang as well. Dude, I've literally seen people tattoo that they got the, like they tattooed the Pfizer logo and that is so dumb. <laughs> All right, J-Salt takes a convincing 3-0 oh, and he's once again, uh, it was May 28th. So two weeks ago or three, I don't know. So J-Salt will guarantee himself being a, a gladiator scout of season five so back to back gladiator scout congratulations jay salt which means we are gonna move on to kubi versus no fluxes uh let's -a go let's -a go another Gladiator Scout qualifying match. Guys, if you don't know, if you're still new to our community, you will... If you're new, you might be able to rebook starting early hours. That's true. I will look into that. Yeah. <laughs> so what's going on between Alicia and Logan here? They're they're having the time. They're having their best time. So Logan, fortunately, had to say goodbye. Ipudo two one versus Ouija here. All right. No fluxes. Layer. Layer two and Kubi. Player one, but that's that's hype, dude. So what's good? I will sell my soul for a bracket win. Damn, that is heavy. Build different. <laughs> I got my April thirtieth. Wow. Oh, I see. Because of the variant, that makes sense. But that's good, dude. That is actually a hype. So, Alishin, I've never seen you in bad brackets. Were you not familiar with the Melee Sick Pro series? The most well ran tournament of the for the East Coast every Monday at 7 p.m. Ooh, no fluxes. Oh, she's. The West Coast feels horrible, man, with a gun. But memes aside, Alicia, thank you for being around. I will drink this next shot to you. Thanks for being around. How's the West Coast? Uh, to be honest, I don't see many West Coast focused tournaments. Like when I look at Melee Online and some other places that have um, events scheduled, it doesn't look like there's a bunch of tournaments that are focused uh, on the West Coast. But yeah, I'm gonna get it. It's getting warm, not gonna lie. I need to switch these ice cubes with the colder ones. Oh. 
big stomp. No fluxes. Guys, I told you, no fluxes. Last season, he was feeling horrible about the fact that he did not get a trophy. He got fifth place, which, we were, which was just shy of getting a trophy. And if I'm not mistaken, when no fluxes was playing last season, he was being affected by the virus. Which means he was not on his uh, utmost... Uh, what's the word? Damn, Ipudo 3 1. Don't play, Freezes. Chill. We're going to your match next since you guys are ready first. You can do picks and bans and whatnot, but don't play. Watch this stream for now. No, no fluxes. You cannot die like that, dude. What are, what are you doing? Don't play, Freezes. Right, let's talk situation. Oh, with that stomp connected. This is such an intense stock right here. He finds the up air. And the, look at this percent, it's so close. He finds the big stomp. He finds the up air. And Kubi needs to recover here. Big stomp. And that is a kill. And no fluxes clutches game number one here. Wow. All right, guys. Sorry, not focusing too much about the chat. There's, there's a lot. This is crazy. Meanwhile, Trail is 2-1 versus Frigid. Very important match. Guys, we will be broadcasting pretty much the entire top six. So after this match here, we're going to go down and chill out with the winner's finals for a little bit. Uh, to check out Freezes versus Ipudo. And it's going to be super hype. Whoever wins the next matchup becomes a gladiator scout of season five. So we have a chance to get a double gladiator scout freezes or we might have the first time gladiator scout e poodle which is also a reality for this match by the way whoever wins this becomes uh, gets a guaranteed third place which already guarantee you being a gladiator scout guarantees you at least this third place trophy here that looks like the shine and is lovely. And no fluxes starts behind by a little bit, but gets the stock to even things out. Finds a big stomp and is working out of those back airs and all those aerials. Geno's arrows are actually surprisingly effective, but Kubi, fast on the reactions here, avoids the wizard's foot. Oh, they trade. Mm, that is dangerous. That is super dangerous. I don't think he's making it back. No, Kubi. With the big Final Destination uh, counter pick here. Making it work very well for him so far. It's not too ahead, but no flex would have to take it right now. Gotta bounce. Catch you later. This is a killer stream. It's honestly impressive. But dude, I'm, I'm just drunk. I'm not... <laughs> Alicia, I'm not doing much here. <laughs> Maybe I should always be drunk on stream. That would be would be better than my usual Monday streams. Thank you so much, though. Appreciate it. I would like to have other commentators, but usually people are too busy. And Kubi managing to you know get things warmed up here. He said, you know what, dude? That game one was just a fluke. I'm gonna show you the power of the Triforce of Wisdom here. Let's go. Oh, he almost got the ledge. I think he wanted a hack dash there. Oh no, no fluxes. He wants this so bad. So the history of no fluxes goes like this, guys. 
he played he qualified for season four right so he played in the finals i think he got a bad matchup on his winner's finals match i might be wrong but i don't remember 100 percent and he eventually dropped a game on the loser side of the bracket and he finished at a, as a fifth fifth place Power after chain grab, yeah, but that's good. That's good for no fluxes because now he he have a, a better counter pick moving forward with the set. So it was very clutch for him to win that, to win that game one. So I want to see how he moves on. Got the win in battlefield, losing FD, no problem. Here we go. <clears throat> By the way, guys, cheers for all the homies. Let's go. Game three coming up here. Yoshi story. We're gonna get another big shot. Remember to. Ooh! I was gonna say, remember to always drink responsibly, but I should also say, remember to watch out for big Gerudo man stomps. Might catch you. Oh my god! If he got that, I would just go crazy. But no fluxes. He wants to become a gladiator scout right now. He needs this. Would put him in a position to face J Salt on Nurse Finals, which is a big matchup as well. Could No Fluxes take on the Salt Man himself? The jab almost hit. He finds the up air. Stays grounded on center stage. It's crazy how no flux is pretty much he plays the game by facing like the, just having his back towards his opponent. That's how Ganon works. So he can get back airs, the the last hitbox of up air and the 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 shenanigans. Oh that killed Are you kidding me? Yoshi's story, please! That was so close. Oh no, no fluxes. Fights the jab, almost lands the fair. Oh, it could be clutch grab. Not gonna lie, though. Sheik is a character that is, you know, it's Sheik. What can we do? Oh, dangerous, but he actually connect the up B, so that was very important. If he had to just recover slowly, it was gonna be very difficult. He has to give the ledge away. Oh, he connects. God damn it, dude. No flux. This last stock situation here. He needs to get the stock right now. Finds the back air and it's... There we go. Last stock situation right now. He's trying to read those jumps, but Kubi's just not giving it to him. And, he, and just like that, he finds 90% damage. The flat crocodile's there. Oh, it's not enough. And Kubi turns things around to get himself a 2-1. Sorry, I clicked the wrong one. God damn it. Had the day cleared, but didn't realize the time might be. Uh, it is what it is, Mac. Not gonna lie, dude. It, it it pretty much messes everything up. Cause I'm not sure how the order of the seating and everything else should be. Uh, it is what it is. At least you can check the last of the the, the, the rest of the of the bracket going on. We have Kubi versus No Fluxes going on no fluxes open up with a 1-0 victory and he's actually gonna counter pick back to yoshi so let's go hope it's a good one rooting for no fluxes yeah there's a big part of me that wants no fluxes to actually at least get become a gladiator scout get that one of those trophies oh he almost gets the back here so close 
think this stage is good for him, but since he lost the first one, now he's gonna have to deal with counter picks. Not sure how much counter picks affect this matchup specifically, but a big back here gets him the first stock. Wow, the edge cancel grab. Kubi with the mind reading. Oh, if only. Wow, a reverse. Oh my god, if it didn't have if it didn't roll there and pretty much like managed to ledge hog, that would have been crazy. How is that a thought? Okay, Yoshi's story needs to have its sides reduced by a little bit. It's no shit they call it the Marf story because you get one temper and that's a stop. 100%. No DI, unless you're Wizzy, there's no DI that's gonna save you. Big Stomp. They trade the up air. Ooh, but it could shield drop fair from Kubi. Another trade, and that is a stock. Okay, no fluxes, a little bit ahead. Oh, but those situations, the back air is from Sheik. It's just like a sex hick. Oh, those shit was so clutch. Everything is just so close here. But okay, the back air from Kubi. They're taking their sweet time here. This is it's so close as a match can be. Oh, the stomp almost connected. And the fair again. No fluxes. It looks like he's losing the, the control of the match. Can he regain it? Oh, finds the big stomp, but doesn't lead to anything. Kubi. Now he finds the grab. Sheik gaming, guys. Clutch shield. Wave land into jab. He's just trying to mix up his movement as much as humanly possible, but that is that a kill? Oh, it's so close. Uh, Sheik is such a cool character, guys. Come on, let's be honest. All right, no fluxus finds the up air after the grab, and he needs a little bit here to force the game five, but he's the one behind. I'm not gonna say anything. There's nothing to be said. The flat crocodile is the only thing that matters. What the hell was that? Could be literally just, you know, hold right to go all the way outside the stage and then held down. I don't know. I am not the player playing. I'm not the one that is uh, battling here to become a gladiator scout for season five. So, who am I to say anything? What do you mean by fix? Yo, Count of Shine, thank you so much for giving me a little bit of viewership. Since Kubi steals all of it. <laughs> Memes aside, shout outs, dude. Kind of shout is a homie as well. Dude, let's go. Ontario strong. Kubi here battling it out. Do, do you understand, Mr. Count? Flex paid Kubi to SD. I will investigate that. So, Count, first, first of all, cheers. Second of all, how is that not a, a stock? Oh, he tournament winner there so count uh, do you understand that the winner of this match becomes a gladiator scout and gets one of these lovely trophies at least a third place guaranteed as long as they win this
God, I hate Chick so much, dude. Chick is so lame. I am drunk, so now I'm actually giving honest opinions. I'm literally giving honest opinions right now because my body, you know, is affected. I'm a boomer. I just turned 30 years old and I'm partially drunk, which is giving me honest opinions. And how Shake is lame. With all due respect to all Sheik players, I'm not saying they're bad players, it's just the character itself. You know? Well, big fair. That's That should be the stock. No, because it's Sheik. Oh, yes, because it's Sheik. All right, no fluxes. Let's go 100% biased commentary. He gets fared. He makes it back. Oh my God. That is the most absurd angle. Someone could ever go for. He's still living. Damn it. The fair. And Kubi. Thank you so much. I'll tip my hat to you, Mr. Count. That is the style. That is the branding that we're going for. Gendo Flux has turned this around here. It's so dangerous. And Sheik with the chain grabs. A lot of skill involved. Even though Kubi likes to say he's not good with chain grabs, he's just so free. just that free okay if fluxus turned this around i'll just give him first place he doesn't even have to play j salt oh it goes for the up air well well it is what it is shout out to kubi for forcing the issue here and getting to winner's final so guys with that said let me uh let's wait for the results here they're gonna input the results. I'm gonna help them make this faster. And there we have it. Let me refresh the top eight here to show it to you guys. There we go. This is how we're moving here, guys. So, first of all, congratulations to J Salt and Kubi for making top four already guaranteed. They are your two first Gladiator Scouts of Season 5 here at the Melee Sick Pro Series. But now we're going to go down to the Losers quarterfinals. We're going to have Freezes versus E Poodle. And just like the matches that we just saw, this is a match that will define who's going to become a Gladiator Scout for Season 5. Uh, they're going to get things started here. I hope that, that was, they were not playing uh, already for real. And we might have a Ganon Ditto. So let's go. E Freezes versus E Poodle. These guys are already doing the, the good old Smash.gg shenanigans uh ipudo needs to ban his first stage so we're gonna wait for that but yeah guys shout out to all these players here shout out to everybody that is on stream celebrating here 30 years guys i've been in this freaking world for three decades right now can't believe it but we out here we started in brazil i lived 24 years in brazil and now we're almost celebrating in September. I'm going to celebrate six years in Canada and North America. Shout outs to all the Americans, no matter if you're North, if you're Central, if you're South. All the Americas are hype, but everywhere else is also hype. And I would like to express my uh, gratitude towards everybody that has been uh, showing up here to play, participate and watch. Appreciate all of you guys being here. And now, here we go, guys. Another Gladiator Scout qualifier here. Freezes versus Ipudo. So, it, it is the game, man. It is Fox versus Marv. Do a barrel roll. 
20XX versus the anime character. Are you an Ayaya or are you a 20XX? Let's go. I'm actually going to start a prediction here. Let's go uh, Freezes versus Ipudo. You guys have one minute to use your points for it. And we're going in. There we go. And this is not winner semis, by the way. This is loser squarters. Yeah, that's correct. So, Freezes versus Ipudo. Let's go. Let's see who's going to take this. Whoever wins gets a, medal, gets a trophy in their mailbox without no charge. So, with all due respect, Ipudo apparently... Oh, he almost gets it. He has had some hand problems, so... It's quite the the history here, the story actually instead of history of him. Uh... Oh, he almost gets it. He gets the jab, trades, but gets the stock. He has been playing with, uh, I believe, lots of hand pains. Oh, he avoids that up smash. Gets it. <gasps> he trades the stock. Ipudo going all the way balls deep into this game one here. He said, you know what, dude? I don't care. I'm going for it. Remember, Freezes is already a Gladiator Scout. He got third place on Season 4. He defeated freaking Silver to take first, third place instead of uh, a fourth. Wow, the turnaround by E Poodle. But. Ipudo here has the power of anime and the power of the 60-40. Neo, do you believe it's My favorite though, FD makes it bad. Yeah, I, I think I think it's 50-50 all stages besides FD. So I'm willing to give 55-45 uh, for because it's a best of five. If it's a best of three, I believe it. I believe it's actually 50-50. Unless you want to go, you know, 53-48 or some bullshit like that. 53-47. Yeah. All right, and E Poodle takes game one. By the way, Neo, do you wanna do you wanna cast live? I can stream it to Discord if you wanna watch it live and help with commentary, since you're a more, uh, most, uh, much more experienced player, and you are a two times Gladiator Scout as well. Maybe later. Maybe it's right now. Just got this open. No problem. No problem. Just let me know. Wow, that was such an insane angle. And he actually goes for the counter, but he freezes, goes for the grab, and avoids it. The SDI. He didn't have a jump. Oh, he waits for the spot dodge, gets a grab, but the side B connects, and he will get hit by the up, up air. He finds the back air, and Ipudo is feeling himself. Gets the stock advantage. Freezes. He really needs this. He's gonna show. This is a decider, guys. Again, Freezes has been a Gladiator Scout before, but not Ipudo. Ipudo actually on season four, he has been, he was fourth play, uh, fifth place, sorry. So he was just shy, just shy from becoming a Gladiator Scout and getting that lovely medal on his mailbox.
but here's the decider. Will Freezes become a 2x Gladiator Scout two times, season four and five? Or will Ipudo finally claim what he just wanted so much? He recovers it. What a spot dodge. That would have been the stop. And he finds the up smash, freezes. Man, I, I feel so bad because these players are so dedicated. They want to be here so bad. They want to, they are the players that make this all worth making it. Connects, but not killing yet, wow. He makes it back, freezes. Trying to build some percent here at least. Sh stalling with the shine, oh my goodness. Freeze is just on another level right now. Drop the first game. He attacks it! Oh my f what? Dude, freezes. This guy is in the zone. He's literally seeing the matrix. We'll get hit by the up air, the up tilt, sorry. He had a jump. Goes for the angle, misses it. But he's in a really good spot here to take this. Only a little bit more percent needed. And an up smash should kill. Goes for the up air, connects! and freezes oh my god i'm literally drunk right now remember guys drink responsibly i'm not gonna drive today i'm not gonna do anything else and i'm definitely drinking a lot of water to make sure my body stay my body stays hydrated moving forward so don't force the issue here oh my goodness what a set right now that game too was very hype freezes not wanting to let it go here will force the counter pick let's see it should be FD, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, final destination is coming up. So, Freezes, what can he do? We've seen Foxes being able to take Marvs on FD, but it requires a lot of effort because we know the power of the chain grabs have. Fox, of course, always has the power of uh, Shine Spikes in their favor. But it's not as free as it gets. Definitely not. Here we go. Good thing. Oh, he had a good... He doesn't connect the, the shoot breaker. Oh, my goodness. Ipuro finds the up. up. Smash. The freeze is still living. The cover is late. Oh, Ipuro could have gone for a grab. Fox trotting a little bit to the left. The shine connects and stops the approaches. He goes for it in there. And connects to the ledge there. Ledge hogs. And the side beat doesn't say freezes, but he has a good percent here. Almost connects to the ledge, was just a little bit too late. Finds the up, up smash. There we go. It feels so early. Sakurai, please. 103 doesn't feel too fair to me. But remember, I'm also a Marv player, so of course. He finds the shine spike. And freezes. Asserting dominance here. Zeph smash Ipudo connects the fair and the back air. All right, two stocks apiece, guys. There we go. There we have it. Who's gonna take the advantage here first? Freeze is working a little bit with the lasers while Ipudo trying to find those aerials. Gets the first grab. Oh, he goes for the. the oh, that was actually hype. I liked the idea. He misses it again. The spot touch by Freezes connects. And here comes the juggles. Here comes the up airs. So much percent build. He's not afraid to be a little bit lamey. Oh, nice movement by Ipuro. Finds the F smash. Oh, what a dare! What, what, what the hell was that angle, guys? That angle was uh, proudly sponsored by GameCube controllers. If you don't want to have those angles like that, please make a... Uh, a DIY box or buy a box or a frame one digital controllers uh, are the future please get up get on with the program okay you would never have an angle like that if you use the digital controller okay just letting you know and here comes the chain grabs he drops it spot dodge connects and he finds the back air freezes up air the juggles 70% just building it, working over the lasers. He knows he lives just a little bit more. Oh, he actually crouches that. Rose. Oh my god. It's still dangerous. They trade. This percent is already good for freezes. 
Oh no! But they are paired. He's still living. And the... Oh my god, the down tilt by Ipuro. I mean, that was Ipuro's game to win. But holy shit. He actually made that close. Holy moly. Wow, what a sad dude. Freeze is keeping it super duper close. Game 4 starting right now. This is life ending situation here. Free Ipuro got his best counter pick to win game 3. And now Freeze has the worst uh, counter pick for Marv. So putting himself in a good situation here potentially. Although he's literally starting behind. Man, I feel so bad because I look at the players that are in this top 8 here. And they are so dedicated. They are such great people. The back air connects. Yep. Yeah, it just goes. It just goes for the next stock. And Ipudo has a, a great advantage going on. Which will mean that Freezes needs this. Oh, the shield. Wow! No, the bad angle by Freezes. Oh, please keep it close, dude. It's not over. Don't, don't quit out. Freezes has big emotions here, and I know it. I really want him to not quit out and just try to battle it out. He has the stage advantage. Just keep it, keep it tight. It's so much percent, though. Holy moly! I would also be happy for Ipudo, Not gonna lie, it's just ah. Uh, my heart is broken right now. He finally finds that up smash. And he's super behind. He needs like a shine spike. 1-800 shine spike right now. Call it, guys. 1-800 shine spike right here. I'm calling. Sakurai, please. Okay. All right. It looks to be that. 1-800 shine spike. Am I right? I'm still waiting to, to hear it. Give me a second. We'll see. Breezes. Finds the back air. Goes for the down smash. Doesn't connect. Avoids it. Oh my goodness. That up smash was so close. I don't think it would have killed. But they have tilt and freezes. 1 800 shine spike. No! <sighs> what? Ah, dude. No. Well, congratulations to e Poodle for becoming a season five gladiator scout for the first time he's gonna be receiving at least this is not guaranteed but at least a fourth place finisher to e Poodle. congratulations <claps> shit i just dropped it okay it looks fine it's not broken guys don't worry uh man hard matchup for for freezes it is what it is uh it, it, that, that fd game was what pretty much sealed the deal you are not necessarily wrong freezes i'm sorry my friend it is what it is we have to say goodbye to the players here here so freezes will end up being uh at, at fifth place here very respectful but it is what it is now no flexes versus trail should be the next uh Should be our next match here on stream and yeah guys don't go anywhere we're gonna have uh no fluxes versus stereo the next uh gladiator scout qualifier for the season and i'm just gonna we gotta talk are you gonna <laughs> dude what are you guys talking about i don't know why people think these trophies are green i showed these on stream so many times they're obviously not green and when I took that picture, I had backlights that were green. Just to, you know, create more, you know, more effects. But anyway, I'm going to the washroom. I'll be right back.
All right, we're back. Guys, bam, this is it, this is me. Scout Fleur is here to bring you guys the next match. It's going to be No Fluxes versus Trail. Let's see if they are indeed broadcasting. They aren't. They need to broadcast. And this is going to be the last decider of the night. Are you going to tell me trophies ain't green? Dude, I told you guys. The picture was clear as day that the trophies were never green. To be honest, we could... We actually could. Missy's trail playing ISIS. No. I need to know which port is which. Trail is blue Ganon. So we just gotta put that in. If you guys just arrived, thank you so much for showing up here to watch the Melee Sick Pro Series Season 5 Finals, guys. After seven weeks, we are going in. And we have here... God damn it. We have uh, Trail versus No Fluxes. If you guys ever played... Uh, in Ganon brackets, you should be more than familiar with these players here. So Trail has Ices in his uh, what's it? That's the the term in his arsenal. Oh, the patience from No Fluxes. So Trail plays Ganon and Ices, which is very intense. But here it is, and remember, guys, whoever wins this gets a guaranteed fourth place here tonight. Which would mean that they get at least this trophy right here. Look at this beauty. Do you guys like this? Doesn't this look great? The shine. Please just take a shit in my mouth. What is going on in Criff? You don't want to see these players battling each other? What the hell is this guy saying? Leprechaun. I, should I ban this person? What are you talking about? Is this, Are these memes? Scout, is it winner's finals after this set or winner's finals? It, it, it is winner's finals. You asked the same thing. It is winner's finals. Wow, what a drift. I don't know what in crypto is, what is talking about. Thank you for uh, making sure his messages are not in the stream anymore, uh, Miranda. I appreciate it. Really, really... Whoa, what the hell is no Flux is doing? I've just noticed it. He is on the verge of four stocking trail. On a best of five. For a decider to get it to fourth place. Like what? What? What is going on? Alright, but a big fair from trail. Connects. You can still make it back. That would require... <laughs> okay, JV4 and no fluxes opens up <laughs> with the most insane results one could expect. Uh, yeah, that's that's insane. I've never, I've never expected that in my entire life. Holy moly. By the way, if anyone that uh, wants to help commentate the matches, uh, let me know. We could join on... On Discord and stream me live so we can have more commentary. There we go. Game two starting up. They go back. Trail counterpicks back to Battlefield to show you. you no, know I do. That was just a fluke. Don't you ever feel that confident about it? Man, come on in crypto. If you keep going like this. Yeah, you're being too cringe. What's going on, Kubi? Oh, I believe he's doing the same thing he was doing on your stream. 
Alright. Man. I'm not gonna ban you, but I'm gonna I'm gonna time out you. Sorry about that. Time out uh, and crypto. I'll time out of you for fifteen hundred seconds. How much is that? It's probably more than the stream is gonna last. So let's see. Fifteen hundred divided by sixty. It's twenty-five. Wait, is that minutes? Okay, 25 minutes. That's not too bad. He might come back. We'll deal with it as we go. So shout out Scooby Stream. Welcome to the Scouts. Yo, Weebly Wall, thank you so much for the happy birthday wishes. Appreciate it. Well, Kubi's always on some weird shit. We understand that. How do you think he wins? Do you think Kubi wins because of uh, skill? No, it's because he's always on some weird shit. He told me. He literally DM'd me that. He said, dude, you know what, Scout? The reason I win, and the reason I actually do well in brackets, is because I want some shit. But I managed to do my own private investigations, okay? I, you know delved a little bit into the system to find out what was the actual quote-unquote shit you know quote-unquote shit that Kubi was in and if I'm not mistaken I might be wrong don't quote me on any of this but the usual shit that Kubi is on is called chic but we'll see how it goes he did manage to become a gladiator scout here on season 5. Damn, no fluxes. Keeping it clutch here versus Trail. He can smell the blood on the water, but the up air. Ooh, big stomp here. He can smell blood on the water here versus Trail, but don't count Trail out. No fluxes here. One stock ahead. Thank you so much. Count with shine with the the good wishes. Appreciate it, my friend. I know you are one of the the actual OGs, maximum homies that probably have both streams open, so you can give the viewership. Oh, no fluxes. Tries to drift perfectly. But doesn't clutch it out. Dude. Can trail bounce back here? Oh, the jab. He gets the grab. What? Wave landing to jab. And the backpack on X. I thought he could have potentially made it back. But no flux. This is just doing too well here. Holy moly. Guys. Shout out to all of you. Cheers. We are on our second cup of uh, our lovely eight-year-old, you know, aged, eight-year-old aged uh, whiskey here. Not the highest quality, but I don't know. I just want to finish that bottle so I can potentially get something better next time. Because this was actually a gift, so we're doing this. And I'm, uh, as you can see here, I have some uh, metallic... Uh, ice cubes they're supposed they supposedly last longer well these guys are just going for battlefield oh big fair by trail oh he misses the up air very close big fair another one yep there we go. Trail takes the first stock for the first time in the set. I mean, if Trail reverses this, like, I don't know what I would do. But I would probably scream a little bit. At least a little bit I have to. I'm, I'm contractually obligated to scream a little bit if no, if Trail were, were to... Reverse 3-0, no fluxes. 
I can't guarantee anything. But with the magical 69%, this is how he starts it. Also, if he were to force stock no fluxes at 69%, I would literally DQ everybody else from the bracket and give him the first place. I think it's only, uh, you know, it's only justified, right? Like, it, 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 what, what can you do? Imagine reversing, like reverse three owing someone, sixty-nine percent. Has it ever happened, guys? Think, think with me here, like, like. G give me a minute here. He Do you think if someone uh, reverse four stock after being forced to 69%, that should just give the person the entire turn? Am I wrong? Dude, is Trail. Treo is beginning to believe. He's literally Neo right now. And this Ganon Ditto here. Like, imagine having a Ganon Ditto on an actual finals tournament. People playing for top four here. It is not a Ganon only bracket, mind you. Just like a normal bracket. Any player can have can be here. We had four Falcons, three Ganons, three Sheiks, one Fox, one Marv. And Treo... Gets himself on the scoreboard. Very good uh, display on this game here. Remember, guys, let me update the top eight here to show it to you. Look at this. Look how important it is. We already have three of the four Gladiator Scouts of the season. J Salt, Kubi, and E Poodle. And we're waiting to see who of the uh, which of these other two players are going to actually make it out. Uh, it didn't update, but Trail just won game one here, of course. So we will be uh, we'll be seeing how that moves on here because we're watching this bracket. Oh, th we're watching this match live right here, right now at twitch.tv slash scoutfloor. We're celebrating my 30th birthday. Let's go three decades in this lovely planet. And there we go. Trail versus No Fluxes, game four. No Fluxes opened up a 2-0 lead. But Trail doesn't want to go quietly into the night here. And Joff Dutcher with the big follow. Welcome to the Scouts, my friend. You are now a Scout yourself. Thank you so much for popping up here. Appreciate the follow. And I hope you are enjoying the show here. We're getting a little bit drunk, a little bit noisy, but not too much. Remember to always drink responsibly, guys. Don't force the issue. Respect the regulations and laws of wherever you leave and drink responsibly. Don't drink and drive. Don't be dumb. Don't be a dumb dumb. These guys are trading, and this game four here looks to be very even. Trail keeping his shoot up because he knows no fluxes. This guy's this is not their first rodeo, okay. Like, these guys have played each other for a long time. Long, long time. I, I'm i trying to remember here which one of them has the advantage. But I think we could actually do that. Let's open up pgstats.com. And what we're going to write here is uh, no fluxes. We're going to find his per, uh, his profile. And we're going to search up the hat you had of no fluxes versus trail. How... What? Oh, not tournaments. I need head to head. What the hell? There you go. So, no fluxes and trail have faced each other nine times, guys. Nine times, okay? And trail has won four. Well, no fluxes has won five. So, these guys are extremely even. And there's a chance if Trail manages to turn this around and complete the dream reverse trio versus no fluxes, it would put him 
at a a 50 50 versus uh no fluxes but maybe if that is trails last stock of the term and no fluxes will end up having a a 60 40 result here six wins four losses versus trail which is an impressive uh record of course but these guys they know each other they are familiar If your hat were any on, it would be illegal. Well, my hat is, uh, as far as I know, it is as close to the regulations as possible. So, you know, I am a person to try to as much as I can. Whoa, what? Ooh, and Treo get, grabs the ledge. Okay, last stock situation on game four. Treo rolling around, trying to find something. Trying to charge an F smash, that's very brave of him. Gets hit by the stomp, and no fluxes can smell the, the blood in the water. Can Trail reverse the situation here? This is so tight right now. This is such an important matchup. If no fluxes win this, the loser's quarters is over, and he becomes a gladiator scout himself. He has so much to prove. After getting so close last season, he was affected by the coronavirus and did not play to his absolute best. But now he has a chance to show everybody that he is, he is that good of a player. He, they are both going to recover here. The back air connects. Oh, no. And Treo clutches it. And this is it, guys. Are you ready for this? This is it. Game five between No Fluxes and Treo. This is a classic. The Senpai versus the Kohai. Who's going to take it? We're going to watch right now. Coming up back to you right here at twitch.tv slash Floor with the Melee Sick Pro Series Season 5 Finals. This guys battle it out over the group stage where you can check if you use the exclamation bracket right here in the chat. You can see we're going to see which stage they're going to go on. It looks like it's actually going to be Yoshi's Story again. Another counter pick by No Fluxes. No Flux is won winning both games on Battlefield to start the set. And after that, Trail managed to clutch it out on game three. And now he wins the first game on Yoshi's. But No Flux is not intimidated at all. He says, you know what, dude? You brought it to Yoshi's. We're going to finish the story right here. This is it. There's no more chances for these players. It's either win and become a gladiator scout again or go back home and not guarantee yourself this lovely fourth place at least at least this fourth place trophy right here and no flux is already on the back burner here uh going too low when trying to recover there he ends up not being able to recover and now he's a full stock behind trying to find something versus trail here that up there if it connected it could have been very dangerous and here it is this is a great set. You are 100% correct. The flat crocodile almost saves uh, no fluxes. Uh, sorry, trail there. Wow. What's up, Wibbly Wall? Thank you so much for participating in my events. I really appreciate you. I know you are always there. You know, dealing with the main bracket with the professional players, but also being uh, an amateur bracket, amateur bracket hero. I appreciate you, my friend, being always around. And you're here, right here, right now, to see who's gonna take it. This is such a hype match. Oh my god. Who's gonna take it? I, I, my heart is so broken right now, because I know only one of them can win. But I think both of them, for each of their own reasons, deserve to win. No Fluxes finds that trade. I'm slowly getting better. That is the spirit, dude. If you're curious, uh, Wibblywall, you can look up uh, Dishwasher and see how he started mostly just like, you know, getting messed up playing the amateur bracket. And now he's, there are some weeklies that he doesn't even... Oh, back air connects. And that's it. No flux is last talk. Oh, my goodness. Can Trail, the old man, the boomer, Trail himself topple up... The youngsters, no fluxes. The reverse sweep. Can he, he actually finish the dream? Oh, he turned around and grabs. But he gets hit by the fair. 
No Fluxes finds another one after the shield drop. They trade. I don't think he's going to be there on time to guard the edge. Hex Money, Hulk Hogan is in the chat as well. Thank you so much for being around and uh, playing during our backers during the Season 5. No Fluxes finds the big stomp. Oh, oh my goodness, but he's such a high percent. It is a miracle here to trade. <gasps> And Trail clutches it. Trail absolute the boomer power is on Trail's side, and he guarantees himself at least okay, this is not over, but at least a fourth place finisher to Trail. The DI in the set next level. It is, dude. These guys, both of these guys are just really above and beyond high level Ganondorf uh, players. So uh yeah man my heart is broken uh i feel so sad because i wish both players could take it not gonna lie uh both of them have big reasons for it it is what it is uh shout outs to both of them for coming in so close and, and you know just going all out in this match we always love to see uh, Ganondorf players bringing out the hype, of course. And let's check out our top eight bracket, guys. First of all, shout out to everybody that joined us during the season to play at the Melee Sick Pro Series. I appreciate every single one of you to, that either uh, comes to play with us or all just check out the stream. So it's hype. And with that said, we have here our top eight finalists. We had, uh, you know, JSOL, Freeza, Scooby, No Fluxes, Thrill Frigid, Ouija, and e -Poodle. They all managed to get out of the, the group stage after, you know, battling it out. It was so close. Like, some players, like, Trail almost didn't make it out. Not gonna lie. Trail was on the skin of his teeth of not making out to the, the main bracket, but he managed to clutch it out. And look at that. Two wins later, he becomes a Gladiator Scout himself. Uh, and now we're gonna move off, move forward here, and we have already defined who are going to be the gladiator scouts of the season. We have J Salt, Kubi, Trail, and E Poodle. These lovely, uh, yes. And let me show you guys what I whipped up this season here. I have this lovely uh, trophies. For season five of the Melee Sick Pro series, you know, goes from first place all the way to fourth. And here's the thing: I believe, of course, I'm not gonna say that uh, a fourth place is as meaningful as a, uh, a first place, but I believe that at that level is quote unquote quote unquote close enough. So, uh. I believe all these players should uh, be recognized for their efforts. And with that said, we are now going to head on to our winner's finals of the night. And here's the thing, guys. Jay Salt uh, won last season. He was the first place Gladiator Scout of Season 4. He won a lovely medal that I whipped up as well. And he wants this first place trophy as well. However, everybody's target is targeting him. Everybody wants to beat him so bad. But here's another fact. J Soul, throughout all the weeklies he has played uh, over the season, he has never dropped a set. Yeah, J Salt has never dropped a set in the entire history of his uh, participations here at the Melee Sick Pro Series. Let me uh, put this because this is winners finals, and it's zero zero. J Salt versus Kubi going on right now. The Chic Ditto. There was a time where uh, where Kubi asked J Salt to play without chain grabs 
And it was still a... I'm not rem I don't remember if it was a 3-2 or if a 3-1. But JSOL still won. So we're going to have to see if uh, Kubi had some kind of preparation coming up to this. Wow, that, that could be good. That was great by Kubi. Finds the fair after the up tilt and the back air. And that is the stock. Wow. Good stuff by Kubi here starting this match. With all due respect, he absolutely need this. He's yet... He made JSOL bleed by taking a couple of games off him, off of him. But has never 100% uh, taken it. But what is going on? Kubi, with the two stock advantage, finding an absolute uh, dominating position here on the first stock. Okay, Salt manages to clutch it out, finds the up air to reduce the damage. And he's gonna work up with the, the chain grabs. Kinda lame, but kinda she. There's nothing you can do about it. This is the game, this is the melee. If you like the game, it is what it is. It's the happy accident we all are very familiar with. The second up air doesn't connect. Trades a little bit there, almost connecting it. And Kubi just goes down. Two stocks apiece, you see? JSALT managing to keep things under control. Which will require Kubi to just go the next level here. And JSALT finds the edge guard perfectly with the back air. Little bit of lag. Oh, great sequence by J Salt here. Keeping the damage going. Trying to find the the Nair. Oh, he had the good read, but the roll was just put Kubi a little bit too far. And Kubi is very is dangerously close to just losing the set, uh, losing the game right here. As Jay saw this, just being that patient. Kubi finds the back air and the fair, but not enough. Oh, look at the needle usage by Jay saw. And he claims game one here. Wow. I mean, he is indeed 100%. What's up, my man? Currently at a graduation party. <laughs> Yo, what's going on? Big Buffalo fought very, very hard. To be honest, Big Buffalo, if it wasn't for the two DQs that we had today, you could have been here. Although you did, you said yourself you wouldn't be able to participate. How is this graduation party going on? I hope at least that is going very well. I wouldn't want to see you, uh, you know, not being able to join us for a lame party. But it looks like it should be hype. Just like it looks very hype here that Kubi took the first stock and does not want to give up on the possibilities. Of doing well. And don't worry, this is not me lagging, by the way. This is just sleepy. Don't blame it on me. Blame it on the night. Damn. I really hope they are not lagging. Okay, it looks like we're back on track. We are good to go. Get a big fair by J Salt. Evens up the stock count. Let me also check something here uh, on PG stats. We're gonna find J Salt, who just got the stock advantage here. Uh, so J Salt, let's see the hat you had versus Kubi. 
Yo, Kazra is a J-Salt supporter. So J-Salt has a clean, you know, as clean as possible record versus Scooby. Ah, that is harsh. Five, oh, they have faced each other five times before. And all five times, J-Salt had the upper hand. Damn. It's just looking too salty here. Spend his doobie to help out Kubi. Well, it doesn't need much. I look at the side just a little bit, and JSOL just absolutely dominates it. And they go right back at Yoshi's story. Kubi really can't drop his chain grabs, it really hurts. It does. Can Kubi turn this around though? The question is... That is the question. He needs so much though. See, so it's just that good. The flat crocodile is not here. It's not there to help him. So Kubi takes the first stock. This is the end of the line, unless Kubi can... Oh! j with the mind-reading abilities. Damn. Kazra, I know you are a j uh supporter. The question is... Is he not streaming? Or are you actively choosing choosing to support my stream? I appreciate it, my friend. Thank you so much. I need to watch J Salt stream. Let me see. Is he ahead on stream? No. He's just stealing seven viewers from me. Kek W's in the chat. He finds the Nair, and it's last stock for Kubi here. I also learned recently that J-Star used to play P+, so I want to face him in P+. Because I'm better at that game than actually Melee. Even though I host events for Melee. Oh, Kubi finds the up smash. Oh, the dash attack doesn't connect. And then the back air trade. Oh no. Poor Kubi going down. Which means J Salt is securing himself a spot at the grand finals. Uh, and we are going in. We're going to watch Losers Sammy's right now. It's going to be Trail versus E Poodle. Ipudo's already broadcasting. Ipudo's already broadcasting, so we're good to go.
All right, Tra Trail versus Ipudo, guys, is going on next. Uh, we're waiting for Ipudo to show signs of life. He's yet to select his character. We're waiting, we're waiting. They are aware that they should be moving on. All right, the... Uh, sorry, the, the check-ins have happened. And with that said, guys, shout-outs to Jay Salt guaranteeing himself a spot on the Grand Finals, which means he, at least, at the worst for himself, he gets a second-place finish tonight at the Season 5 Finals of the Scouts Weekly Smash very on Melee Sick Pro Series. So, this is it. Very poggers. Very, very poggers. Guys, this is it. We are at the very last stretches of this event, of the season. Ipudo is ready to rock. It's waiting for Trails stage bands so we can move forward. Shout out to every single one of you watching here live at Twitch.tv slash CalFloor. Celebrating my 30th birthday right here. We are watching the season finals of the Melee Sick Pro Series. After five seasons, guys, we still we're still rocking very strongly all right and we are setting ourselves up so ipuro player number one will have to face the trail man himself turn around fast well well i'm a professional neil as you know it i mean i could have had the the full top eight on stream but it is what it is made so bad about telling you my plan and crypto Come on, man. Why, why don't you do this? Change that word for something that is acceptable. Change those, all those words for something else. Change that for... I, I want you to, to substitute everything, all, all, that, uh, all that you're mentioning by vegetables. I, I'll, I'll want to see if you're creative enough. To switch all those words for examples of vegetables. If you can do it, it's going to have it's going to have to be a, a, a fifteen thousand uh, timeout instead of a fifteen hundred. And with that said, we have losers semis. Ipudo versus Trail. These guys are already guaranteeing themselves. A gladiator scout finish here. They 100% will have a trophy delivered on their mailbox. But what number will it be? Will it be four? Will it be three? We'll know right now. This is a fourth place to start. It. Loser ends the tournament at fourth place. Winner moves on to try and claim more and better results. Thank you so much, Encrypto. Appreciate the F. I appreciate it, my friend. Shoutouts to all the homies. Why do you do that, dude? Just eat vegetables. Come on. That's kind of cringe. I think that could have been a dare, to be honest. He's gonna go for the F smash. And he snipes it. Man, Gena's recovery is actually not bad. <laughs> Holy moly. Oh, no! That is an eat shit situation right there. The dare by Trail. Ipudo 
Okay, it finds the stock. It is what it is. Double fair into Nair. Good sequence. Gets hit by the get up attack, but still under control. Back to neutral. Back air connects from trail. And another one has an edge guard situation. No, nope. Ipuro makes it back. Crosses up. Tries the F smash. Doesn't connect. Goes for the grab. Oh my. I'm surprised on like how. Even though I'm. Uh, not severely, but I'm definitely affected by the alcohol. I can still cast the game fast and with a good uh, English pronunciation. Pronunciation, sorry. Pronounce, pronunciation. Uh, yes, so it just goes to show that I am on the, you know, mastery levels of the English language. Ooh, okay. Holy moly. Good movement by Ipuru, but he's still getting punished. A little bit behind here, but maybe the up air doesn't connect. Doesn't connect again, and Ipuru is just taking his sweet time. Turns around to get a grab and does that again. Misses it this time. Ooh, he just had sh held shield. Here we go, last stock situation of game one. Trail is carrying the spirit of no fluxes. And I feel bad for no fluxes. But it is it is this determined that like this there's, there's nothing that can be done about it. it. It is what it is. You have to win the matches you play. Like it, it sounds obvious, but it is what it is. The turnaround grab and the spike. Ipuro with the lovely combo takes on game one. Let's freaking go. And here we are. Game two. Trail counter picks to Yoshi's. Also known as Marv's story. We're going to see if this is actually going to be the story of Marv. Ooh, that was almost a combo. See, here's the thing, guys. One thing that I'd say separates the the boy Marvs from the man Marvs is when you can use up a uh, up B to kill. All right, Trio just gives away the stock. That looked to me a little bit. I might be wrong, but it looked to me like one of those situations. Where a reverse of B could have taken the stock. He's still ahead, but that combo. Waits to use the shield drop. He poodle. Put in the damage. He's ahead, yet to be. Taken out. Wow, what a... Pretty much a pivot after that, instead of dash dance. Ooh, and a reverse hitbox from that wizard's foot will even out the stock count. Middle trail is a little bit behind here. Wow, trail, you're so brave. The flat crocodile is not there. 
He doesn't have a jump, but the big stomp connect on Ipudo. And back to neutral. He finds the affair. Not done yet. And the back air finally does the job. So Treo surprisingly turns on the tides of this game. <laughs> the four fairs in a row by Ipuru. Puts a lot of damage but doesn't take the stock yet. He needs an F tilt or something like that. Ooh, okay, the up air connects and finishes off the stock here. Two stocks apiece. Make sure I let these guys know that I need their addresses. Gotta let these guys know that I need their addresses. Because to be honest, besides uh, J Salt, all the other three members of the Gladiator Scouts of this season are new. So that's uh, that's very hype. Very excited about it. Okay, Poodle doing some shenanigans with the Flat Crocodile. Does he have a jump? He does. He edge cancels. Oh no, he. Sorry, Meteor cancel. Oh, but the big fair and trail evens up. The stock, oh, the game count here. All right, let's see it. We need another, at least two more games to go here. And Trail will choose to bring the Ices. Let's -a go, let's see how the Ices fare. Uh, let's see what's, what's the, what's the record between Ipurul and Trail here. I am not sure how these guys fare toward each other. Let's see, Trail, okay. So, ooh, this is spicy. So, uh, Ipudo versus Trail, they actually have a 2 2 record. So, they faced each other at Untitled 28, which was whoever many weeks ago. It was 2-0 for Ipuro. Then on Super Smash Homies, they faced each other again, where Trail won 2-1. Then at Far Loco Fight Night, losers round 5, Ipuro won again 2-1. And at Scouts Weekly Smash number 59, Trail won 3-0. So, game-wise... Uh, Trail has six games while Ipuro has five. So this is a big decider. Oh my god, in crypto, why don't you stop that, dude? It's kind of cringe. It's literally cringe. Not gonna lie. He's trained that, though. That is the question, Miranda. Man, I've never finished that, that prediction, eh? You bet on Freezons and you lost. Do you want to lose points? I mean, I have to do it, because Ipudo won. So, you lost your points, 
Ah, uh, Miranda, I'm sorry. <laughs> that is hilarious. Why is my stream dropping frames? You chose the wrong one. Not my fault. <laughs> you bet everything on freezes, but he lost to Ipoodle. Goes back to the stage, has a jump. Okay, good recovery. The grab connects, but it's just so podo. Alright. Good effort here by Trail. Keeping things close. I know, but even if, but that's kind of unfair from Twitch, honestly. If no no one was against you and you lose, you still lose. Like your scout tokens go to the limbo. It goes to the the multiverse. Alright, down smash connects and trail showing the power of the non wobbling ICs right here, right now. Trail a little bit ahead, but he only has Sopo. Finds the F smash, but sour spot. Oh, he misses it. Big punish coming. Oh, actually, not as big as I was expecting it. Finds the big fair. This was Ipuro's counterpick, guys. So he needs to take this. Also, shout outs to both uh, Kubi's and J Salt's stream. He's probably looking at us right now, so shout outs, guys. Make sure you follow my channel, since you're probably already following Kubi's and J Salt's uh, stream. Anyway, wow, what a position by Ipoodle there. Holy moly. He managed to avoid that. He got frozen, but escapes it. Goes for the there. Very dangerous. Spot dodges. Doesn't get grabbed. That could have been the game right there. The down smash. He's still living. But at what cost? The cost of trading. I hate Marv's up B so much, dude. Think about this. You have a sword, okay? I'm gonna use the flat crocodile as an example. You do a hua like this with a sword first, okay? The sword go first. How can it trade? If you're pointing the sword first, like it makes no sense whatsoever. And yet, it is what it is. So. That's the Marv, guys. That is the Marv. Well, it is what it is, homies. We're going to game for right now hype it up we're in trail has a little bit of an advantage here after playing with the ICs decides to bring the Ganon back it might feel more confident with this uh, lovely Gerudo gentleman it's very strong feet and hands but has to face the sword anime fighter we'll see how we go from there oh the clutch air dodge avoids the f smash trail he has the advantage so far 
but Ippudo only needs a little bit to take the stock here. Though he chooses to... To choose his shoot. Damn. He rolls there and gets ultra punished and already has 50%. Oh, and the big fair. He still had us a jump. Gets the reverse up B. Alrighty, Poodle. Alright. If you're looking to swag, I'm not going to be the one stopping you from it. Lash attack was too brave. Trail finds the back air. Lash it back, finds it double, triple. Almost quadruple up air here to get the combo going. Drops a little bit for the fair, but Trail has the presence of mind to, as much as possible, drift away and avoid that fair. Oh, he edge cancels that. Oh, so much damage here on Ipuro. He is on life support here. The shield poke! With the back hair trail, is already forcing a last stock here from Ipuro. This is his tournament life, guys. He will find the F smash, but this is Ganon. How is that not a tipper? Okay, doesn't matter. He finds the down tilt. Ipuro, if he wants a game five, he's gonna have to play his mind out here, his heart out. All his, you know. Whoa! Okay. I wasn't expecting that last stock situation. Game four, Ipuro with the down throw. They trade. Okay, oh my goodness. This is so absurd right now. He finds the tipper. It's just percent though, because. And another one? This is it. Ipuro. He clutches it so much. He manages to bring win out of the jaws of the feet he finds the victory out of the jaws of the feet this is insane ipuro is not giving up that's what i would like to see guys that is what truly shows what a gladiator scout is holy freaking shit holy moly this is insane all right this is it let's see what's the counter pick gonna be uh okay trail is the siding here he has Dreamland Stadium Battlefield or Fountain. I believe it should be Fountain. Or no, he's going Stadium. Interesting. Very, very interesting. He might bring the, the Ices again. Ipuro. Yeah, there we go. We have Ices again. Ices versus Marv on Pokemon Stadium. This is it, guys. This is the end of the line for this, guys. It's either uh, live or die. Win or die last game to decide who's going to continue in the tournament and have a chance to potentially getting uh, a second place finish. Ipuro managed to get such a clutch win there. It is actually insane. Okay, all right. Trail starts, uh, strikes first, getting the first talk here with the Icy shenanigans. He's still bidding damage up. Oh, it's spot dodge F smash, spot dodge F, spot dodge F smash. That is how a true Marv plays. And he finds the tipper. Okay, Ipuro. Who am I to say anything? when uh, the players actually find such uh, interactions. But here comes the problem. Doesn't kill. But Ipudo. He's fairly behind a percent and he's gonna get grabbed again. It's so difficult. 
once you get grabbed, it almost looks like it is what it is. So much damage here. They both roll. It clangs, but the secondary hit of Nana, I think, was what uh, finished off that stock. But Ipuro is still alive. And he finds... Okay, dude, this is it. Two stocks apiece. Super even right now. They both made mistakes. They both got clutch moves. Oh, he saves Nana. Wow. very. This could be very important. Because Trail went all the way to save Nana there. He counters it. Wow. Ipuro. Doesn't you go for some unorthodox opportunities, but here comes the wobbling. The, you know, a little bit more skill required wobbling. wobbling. He manages to stop the edge guarding there from Ipuro. Wow, he power shoots, but still cannot do anything about it. Nana looks to be out of the picture. So Ipuro, if he manages to take this Popo. Okay, he gets it. Last start situation, game five. This is it. Ipuro or Trail. Who's going to become at least a third place? And who's going to go out as fourth? Yeah. Nana is out. Ipuro has a little bit of an advantage here. But don't count Trail out. We'll have to go all the way to see who's going to take it. He finds the tipper, Ipuro. Doesn't get the edge guard yet. More damage going on. Oh, it's too hasten trying to find the F smashes. That is such a pain for Marvs. Oh, the air dodge doesn't save, and this is gonna be clutch. The tipper from Ipuro. He will move on, and I have to go to the washroom. Let's go. Trail not going forward. Lil Marco came here to just curse. <laughs> trail. But shout out to Trail. He will be receiving this lovely, lovely fourth place trophy on his mailbox free of charge. Congratulations, Trail, on becoming a Gladiator Scout. Uh, we will move on with the bracket. I have to go to the bathroom real quick, guys, so uh, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with Losers Finals. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back, and I also have my top hat here because this is a special date. This is it, guys. This is the top eight, the, the top three right now, actually, to be honest. These are your three last finalists of the season. 
I have to say is Scooby got lucky. <laughs> we love to see it. Congratulations, Mr. Trail, for making it top four and becoming a gladiator scout yourself. Let me uh, refresh. Come on. I'm literally clicking the button. And it's not moving. What? What is going on? Glad I got the hardware, baby. Yeah, that is true. Now the question is, why isn't my my thing moving on? This is fucked. All right, Ipuro is player one right now versus Kubi. Uh, all right, I'm trying to. What is going on? Let me close up this freaking app here. I'm trying to remove the the top eight bracket. It's not working properly. And here we go, losers finals. Damn. It's not 2 2, guys. Give me a second here. I forgot. I have to open this as a, an admin. There we have it. As you guys know, this is not 2 2 because this guy's have just started. This is the first game, playing Battlefield, the classic. Yo, Ouija with the insane host. Wait, it's a host of 10 and a rate of 13. That doesn't make any sense. Shout out to every single homie. Guys, Ouija played his heart out. He wasn't meant to be to become a gladiator scout this season, but he indeed at least got out off the, the group stage and fought valiantly versus Ipuro, who's currently uh, playing for potentially a, f a number two tonight. So we're gonna have to see how that goes. Guys, Ouija has... Did you guys watch? Okay, if you are from Ouija Raid, I need to ask you, have you watched... Have you watched Ouija's uh, combo video? Uh, say something in the chat if you have watched the Ouija combo video. I did. And it actually had some very uh, spicy combos in that. Holy moly. It was actually nuts. I do have my, uh, you know, artistic commentary about it. I think in 2021, if you want to make a combo video, you can use Twitch clips. I'm sorry. Uh, you have to get the replays. And you have to render it in 4K. <gasps> what a schnei by Ipuro. My first couple of stocks this turning. Dude, I actually saw. We were actually streaming it. So you can go back on my channel and... and uh, too sweaty. <laughs> Luigi is a legend. This guy is literally a legend. Oh, wow. Very clutch for Ipuro to save his jump. I mean, Kubi still takes the stock. But you can see that these guys is ju are just at another level right now. Look at this grab. Holy moly. He's just working with the up airs. Finds the F smash. He tried for a turnaround. What the hell is that down tilt hitbox? That's literally flat earth. Confirmed. Literally flat earth. And what is that? Kubi. Finds the Amps attack from Sheik to Sheik. Sounds good, Ouija. Thank you so much, my friend. Congratulations on making it this far. Appreciate the support. Hope you have an amazing weekend. See you next time. Guys, if you've never checked out our stream, first, I would like to point out how HD our melee looks. It is as HD as possible. I went you know above and beyond to make it look as good as it can on your screen so if you can please make sure you're watching at 1080p 
What? How is that shield already up? That makes no sense. And Kubi will have another try at this stock here. After almost dying. So much damage, but Kubi is not going down. Ipuro avoids the grab. He waits for the spot dodge. He's not... Finds the Nair. And they have Smash. And Ipuro... He literally broke his hands. And he's actually nuts right now. This is crazy. Alright, game two. the first stock, but it's keeping it close. Oh, he doesn't grab the ledge. That could have been the stock for him, but now he's getting ultra punished for it. Still fighting. Good back air, and that's the stock. Kobe just goes down. Knows there's nothing he can do about it. Super unhealthy percent here. Will be definitely with the advantage here on this counter pick. Oh, that was a bad fare. It's getting punished. Oh, I think he wanted to grab there. Wave dash back. Brave, but... That is gonna haunt Kubi 100%, although he's still ahead. Well, this is it. Yo, Cooper, what's up? Kubi takes game two. Keeping things close. Uh, let's go, game three. Here we go. Man, my button's not working. God damn it. I guess you guys gotta see the full top eight. Oh, that kills. Kobe gets an early stock here. Okay, good. Okay, Boodle. Just literally wave dash into the ledge as much as possible. Oh, 
Okay, okay. Oh, he wave lands and tries to find the grab. Nice. Tag there, but it's still not enough. It's just not enough. Let's see it. In the back here. Taking control over this set right here. Man, and my button is just not working to reverse my camera. That is, sucks so much. Like, why isn't why isn't working? It literally stopped working. God damn it. Makes no sense. Let's see if FD works a little bit better for a poodle here. The Scooby. Shoots the fair. Okay, the grab from a poodle. Dash back. Alrighty, Poodle. Okay. Okie dokie. But the answer. Right back from Kubi. Okay, the triple fair there, and Ipuru has the advantage here on game four. Until Kubi says something about it. He texts twice. How is that not a recovery, Sakurai? Please. He even tacked it. He went above and beyond to make sure he would survive. There's just no justice in this world, dude. Sheiks are just too good of a damn character. A lot of damage by Ipuru here. Finds the tipper. That is not enough. But the back air. Alright, Ipuru can potentially force a game 4 here. Can he actually do it? Finds 3 up tilts. It's six up tilts in a row. Are you kidding me? Oh, yeah, smash it. Oh, my God, Ipuro. Actually, actually doing it. Holy, holy moly. Damn it, I cannot. Why is my button not working? My buttons are not working. This freaking app, dude. I don't know what's going on. But we're gonna refresh that. Anyway. Oh no. After so much effort. Ipuro, come on. You gotta recover from this. This is... Oh, 
no, now Kubi is just running away with it. And he doesn't make it back, and Kubi has complete control in this game 5 here. I mean, if Ipudo manages to turn this around, might as well give him the trophy, am I right? Oh, he managed to make it back. Still getting hit by the big Ferris. Alright, finds the up to get the stock, but he's still... Pretty much two stocks behind. Down smash connects, and that's the last stock of the tournament for Ipuil. Can he clutch it? Or will Kubi move on? Oh, he almost got it. Oh, twice! Oh my goodness, these combos are just being so close on on finding the mark, but they just don't. Goes for the down smash, it's not the sweet spot. Alright, the up tilt. Okay, it finally kills. It actually kills from the side, which is insane. I mean, if Udo... Finds a grab. What? Okay. Reverse a B? <gasps> oh my god! Ipuro, are you watching this Wibbly Wall? Are you getting inspired to play your Marv even better? Because I know you play Marv. Ah, the fair. He patiently wait. Oh, he's gonna get grabbed. He's still fighting. Bravely. Avoids the fair by the secondary one. Sheik is so lame, dude. JK, shout out to the players, but Sheik is kind of lame, not gonna lie. Man, where? why can't I use my freaking buttons? It was working fine before. Let's see if I can do this manually, not gonna lie. What the hell, where are my filters? Uh... Okay, then cam. Okay, I kind of fixed it manually, but that's absurd. Where are my filters? I don't know why my button is not working. Drop shadow standard. There you go. This is absurd. We're not on a lifetime. Indeed, dude. You did very, very well. All right. Congratulations, Ipudo, making top three. Make sure you send me your address and your full name so I can send you the lovely trophy. Man, that was a hell of a run. Not gonna lie, that was a, indeed a great run. I was not not expecting the W versus uh, Trail. Of course, with all respect to all players, that was quite insane. And there we have it. Grand Finals is set up. J Soul versus Scooby. The Chic Grands is ready to go. Uh, we're gonna broadcast. Get the broadcast from Jay Salt. And this is it.
Well, man, I'm uh, I'm still happy with the results. Okay, now it's actually working. Finally, this is what I wanted. There we have it. This is it, guys. It all comes down to this. Thank you so much for showing up here to celebrate my 30th birthday. I'm all out of whiskey, but I'm full of hype. Looks like J-Salt's gonna be player two. And... Player one is Scooby. So we're gonna go here, reset the score, get on to Grand Finals. Where Kubi is gonna have to fight from the lower bracket if he wants to potentially face and take the first place from Jay Salt. But Jay Salt is inspired, he is a fighter, and he will try his best to clutch it out. This is it. This is the end of the line. All right, this is it. We're going in. Game one, Battlefield. Kubi versus J Salt. All right, this is it, guys. Damn, I lost the first stock, I'm sorry. And Kobe actually opens up the scoreboard in the first stock, but J-Salt evens out the situation as fast as possible. have it grand finals of season five Kubi cannot make it back will drop down J salt has a little bit of a stock advantage not the healthiest percent but let's see how he works with it these guys have faced each other over our weekly so many times and it was bound to happen that they were gonna face each other on the grand finals here it is pretty much a run back from uh, winners finals where J Salt got a clean 3-0. But this time Kubi keeping things close here on gets game one. He stroke first and is trying to keep up the situation as even as possible. Finds the grab. Kubi is not the most proficient player uh, chain grab wise. So he needs a little bit more here. This might be the stock. Oh no, he actually makes it back. That was the very limit of Sheik's recover. And look at that. Jab into shield drop fair. J Salt just showing up. How he does it. Speaking of that, let me get a, a Ipuro and Treo here and give them. The lovely roles of Gladiator Scout Season 5. I haven't even created it. I have to. There we have it. And Chase Salt gets game one for himself. Putting himself, inching himself 
closer and closer of this lovely first place trophy that we have here look at this beauties guys doesn't really look great the melee is sick pro series first place i mean looking at the camera you can barely read it but when you have it in on your hand you can definitely uh make out what is written out here and on the base you can see the lovely phrase of let it be bestowed upon you the title of gladiator scout only for the very best of our community guys shout out to all the players getting it this far uh there's so many players that i wish uh would make this far it's just the nature of the tournaments all right jay salt methodically Finding the good hits. And the Nair kills. Alright, Kubi, keeping it close. Well, let's try to go for the Nair. Mm, that is dangerous for Kubi. It's very painful indeed. Let's see if he fights back. Spot dodges the grab and finds the down smash for a little bit more percent. Pull up there. Trade a little bit. by J Salt. There we have it. The down smash from Kubi finishes the stock. Remember, Kubi is fighting from the lower bracket. He wouldn't have to win versus J Salt twice to take this first place here. Which he will make it very, very hard. Wants this first place trophy once more. Just showing his prowess here. Tries to go down, finds the back air. Not a single moment of loss here by J Salt. Just showing complete dominance on the matchup. Right, finds the fair that doesn't kill it looks like a sour spot and the flat crocodile is right there to help j Sol recover this low get up by kubi ends up getting him killed by the down smash and j salt is one win away from getting the job done here we'll see how we're gonna move from here this could be the last game of the night e poodle where is your address homie Send me a DM. Slide in my DMs with that full name and address. Otherwise, how am I supposed to send you these lovely trophies? Also, let me hit up Trail. Don't forget about that, eh, Poodle? Congratulations on becoming a Gladiator Scout. He put all did, dude. He put all actually did. We got a clutch win versus Freezes and a clutch win versus. Uh... Oh, he makes it back. Versus Trail. Though he didn't need to win versus Trail to get a trophy, but now at least he got a better number. Instead of four, he's getting a three. And I'm really happy for all of you guys that made all the way to the top four. We became Gladiator Scouts of Season 5. A uh, little bit of uh, schlippy shenanigans. Remember guys, that this tournament is proudly sponsored by Microsoft PowerPoint. With the, you know, slide effect. 
Yeah, he put up. Playing with a broken hand, he managed to get top three tonight. I mean, what an achievement, dude. Congratulations, not gonna lie. I hope uh, all the effort that I put here managed to bring you lots of happiness with this result. Of course, I know I wanted to go farther, but with all that said, I mean, there's no way you, you would feel bad about your results here. There are many players that I would like to send some of these trophies to, but overall, I'm really happy with the ones that managed to get this far. Kubi goes down, and it's his last stock of potentially the entire tournament, the entire bracket. If JSOL manages to clutch this, it could be it. It could be this, the chain grab by JSOL. Proving very effectively here. He finds the first fair. Can he find the second? He goes for the nair. And more damage. Another nair. Connecting. Can Kubi turn this around? No, he gets grabbed himself. And the up air. It is what it is. My friends, we have it. As he put, put a point to it. Uh... We have our winners of the night. Guys, let's have a winner's interview with Jay Salt, if he would be kind to join us here. Let's go. What is Sheik? What is Sheik? Dude, Sheik is a, is a character. It is indeed a character. Uh, let's have J Salt joining us. All right, we have him here. J Salt, can you hear me? Yes, yes. Hello. Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen. There we have it. After seven long weeks mm -hmm. and one full bracket with group stage, which I think worked very nicely. You'll tell me that in a little bit, J Salt. But yeah. uh, with a full group stage and now top eight bracket, we have our winner of season five, who's definitely getting this on his mailbox the first place trophy of the Melia Sick Pro Series Season 5. Yes, Congratulations, Mr. J. Salt. How are you feeling right Thank now? You. Thank you. Uh, feeling great. Uh, felt like I was playing pretty well today. Uh, and it showed. Super happy yep. getting that first place trophy. Two time champ. Two time. Dude, back to back champion. Congratulations, J. Salt. That was uh, Thank you. a very, very impressive. I mean, I tried my best. As a TO, I tried my best to find some more, you know, <laughs> direct competition to this cheek yeah, yeah. that has been uh has been uh running wild here in uh the scouts weeklies uh, as far as i am aware you went to drop a single set uh, there was only one set that you went game five all the other sets were either you know 2-0 or 3-0 or 3-1 so you had to drop a full set in our bracket. So with a complete right. clean record here would make your parents proud. Uh, I'm sure of that. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Uh, so how how is it going? How was the the entire journey coming up to here? Um, I mean, like you said, uh, I, I've still yet to drop a set in your weeklies or finals tournaments. So uh, I'm glad I was able to keep that streak going. Um, Still, uh, I feel like the fact that I didn't drop a game today in the finals, um, I think that definitely shows uh, how a little bit of how I've progressed over these past few months, like just even going mm -hmm. from season four to season five. Um, and uh, I'm really happy to show that off. Yeah, if we look here on your on your group stage, I mean, uh, I mean, I would like to ask you if like. Of course, Miranda ended up like just dropping the the last set versus you. But on the mm -hmm. sets versus Frigid, Ouija, and No Flux, you had a couple of close matches. Anything uh, outstanding that you would like to to mention? Thanks, Scooby, for becoming a prime scout. Appreciate it, homie. Um, because no, I, I chose to particularly not stream any of your matches because I, I was confident you were going to make to the top figured, eight anyway. Yeah, I so I wanted to have at reasonable. least at least everybody in the chat. So right. yeah. yeah, 
I, I agree with that decision. Yeah, that's a good call. So at least, you know, almost everybody can uh, get some stream time. Yeah, yeah, no, that's For fine. sure, for sure. Um, uh, I don't know. I played Weege uh, in a tournament earlier this week. Uh, didn't go so great for them. I think it was kind of more of the same. No, he's pretty, he's pretty His Falcon's kind of hot. Like, yeah, he'll have some crazy stocks going. Um, so, you know, I always got to be careful not, not to be his next victim on one of those. But, um... No fluxes. Uh, I think that was those weren't too close of games. Uh, maybe, maybe the first one. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. Frigid. Uh, we've played a few times before, also in that play tournaments. But um, yeah, uh, no one really got close. I mean, unfortunately, I only got to play three matches. Um, yeah. Not even the four like everyone else. But um, no, yeah. Uh, you know, I, since the whole pool was essentially Falcons and Ganons, you know, I, I knew I knew what I needed to, you know, sharpen up on. Uh, made that at least a, a bit easier for me. So uh, that definitely showed uh, with the clean sweep thing. Yeah. So I've been uh, I've been looking up, of course, on all other brackets that the East Coast has been offering to all the players, and of course, uh, I've seen you participating versus players like the other Jays. Uh, ben mm -hmm. and all the rest of the East Coast stars. Uh, how are you f confident and feeling about uh, moving on to, I mean, not to uh, diminish the competition in my events, but of course, uh -huh. in moving on to, to uh, greener pastures, right? Uh, uh, how how yeah. are you feeling into progressing into the, the more uh, upper echelon brackets that the East Coast and I guess NA White has to offer, right? Yeah. Um... Uh, I guess just by my my progress and like getting better and better results, getting bigger wins and all, um, I'm able to feel more confident against better, play you know, up to like the top top players. Uh, like I still feel like I have at least a chance, uh, you know, to take games if not sets. So it, it's nice to uh, you know getting to play all these different people through all these net play tournaments, uh, big or small, and um, mm -hmm. just having having the confidence there, I feel really just goes pretty far for me. Um, you know, yep. uh, I dropped, I think the last time I played J Flex, uh, that was the last uh, game five situation. Um, and I feel like since then, I felt like I uh, really kind of needed to get back on the drawing board in Ditto. And um, and then the next big Sheik I had to play was Ben and got the win there 3-1. Um, and I feel like that's- Oh, wait, one versus big. Ben. I think I missed that, yeah. but not nice. That's a good win for um, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, that's definitely, uh, another matchup I feel like I've certainly just over the past like month or two I've really uh, put in some effort into improving on and it's I'm glad it's showing for sure no indeed uh, great great results here uh, congratulations on the win uh, but mm -hmm. moving forward uh, I'm sure you are aware that some of the the good old locals and other more mm -hmm. in-person events, especially in the U.S. or compared to the, the situation here in Canada, U.S. is already being a little bit ahead uh, mm -hmm. on the whole, you know, opening up uh, reality. And yeah. we're very happy, of course. I think the entire situation in North America is uh, very far ahead than other places. So we're all more than happy to, to understand that things might be closing up so for example we all know that uh riptide is going on i wasn't i didn't check mm -hmm. up melee uh for that event as well but did you reg for that are you looking forward to getting uh, to some of those local tournaments and in real and in person ones yeah for for riptide no i won't be going to that one um i think that uh i'd probably really try to go if there was a, a contingent of louisiana players i would also be trying to go um but yeah of course there's there's a whole <laughs> there's a whole uh, logistics that always go into events right like i just realized myself right. that the riptide is like four hours away from where i am but uh -huh. i believe you're from louisiana right so it's a it's a much right. different situation going it's from there definitely but, like yeah. we're all we all pretty much flying there uh, uh -huh. but yeah just um you know some people might be a bit you know apprehensive for like to go to the very first first one just kind of see how like how does it play out does it run okay and everything some people kind of want to see that happen first before they jump in as far as the majors and big tournaments go but um yep. locals uh slowly but surely uh people are talking about uh yeah how's louisiana doing things. 
Um, we haven't had a local tournament start yet, except for, uh, so I'm, I'm in the south part of Louisiana, um, uh -huh. like New Orleans, Baton Rouge, um, but up north, uh, there's been, uh, one weekly that has started up, uh, I believe last week, um, so we do technically have stuff started, that's just like, for me, that's like at least five or six hours away from me. So, yeah. uh, as far as a weekly goes, like, that would have to be, like, a, a big one, or, like, you know, everybody's going kind of thing for me to really make that big drive. But, um, you know, I, I mean, hey, they, we got one started. That's, you know, a, a big first step. Yeah. Um, literally sure. had someone in our Discord even bring up, uh, in a city two hours from me, uh, looking to start a weekly there. So, you know, slowly but surely, there's people, you know, reaching out to venues, seeing if you know what they can get started in their local area and, and you know sooner or later in these next few months or so we'll probably mm -hmm. get back into the swing of things uh in person locally for sure well yeah i'm i'm just happy to see that things are are, are getting back to normal i think now that i have quote unquote a little bit of clout with the ontario community i might be able to try and bring a, a couple of people because I, i don't live like close to toronto right which is like mm -hmm. the the uh the epicenter of the ontario community and overall right. like i'd say the highest echelon of, of smash in canada is in toronto but it's like i'm like like one hour and a half two hours from from toronto so i'd like to have to establish a little bit more of a thing in here even mm -hmm. if it's more local more thing but we can always get some people from new york from uh, the, like the northern area of new york and michigan and right. which it ends up like being a little bit closer for them to come in here Uh, but yeah, I'm excited for seeing things opening up and potentially having some more uh, in-person shenanigans going on. How do you feel about uh, online tournaments going on? Because I, my my honest opinion is that there would still be a place for online events um, moving forward because it's not like everybody can can travel all the time. And right. or maybe like if you live more on the countryside in a place where there's not necessarily a big community, like maybe you have like a three friends that like to play Smash and like to grind it as well, but it's not like you guys can keep just playing each other all the time, right? You have right. to to look forward to to better competition. So this online uh, environment, even though we we understand the the shortcomings of it. It's still a better way. So, do you think, even with things going back to to more normal situations, do you think you would still be joining online events? How how do you feel about that? Um, I definitely think I will. Uh, just uh, before uh, COVID and everything, um, I wasn't really playing much melee at all outside of going to. Uh, I hosted a weekly event, um, and that was kind of about it. So I'd only play melee literally just once a week, just at the tournament. Uh, yeah. maybe a little bit otherwise, uh, if, you know, it could get a Smash Dust going or something, but, um, or if there was like a monthly tournament that week, but, um, with Netplay, uh, I've just, you know, you kind of touched on a lot of the points of, uh, you know, probably why it should just still stick around, and I think it definitely will, it's just, um, for people that don't have a big local scene uh, at all, or just kind of isolated, Uh, or live a bit too far from where all like the smash is happening there um they definitely still would like to have you know that outlet like all the yep. players i've played all over north america i probably would have never gotten the chance to play you know 90% yeah, no, that, that is such a uh, that is Netflix. such a good so, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, i'm definitely uh very grateful for slippy and that play and everything for sure how that's developed over uh the, the past year or so um So I definitely am a big believer of having netplay tournaments still go on. Um, probably will they be to you know lesser extent, you know people. Maybe just the bigger yeah. ones or more important things. Yeah, yeah, there'll be more bigger ones, or there'll certainly just be like certain weeklies going on, or they like there probably won't be any like you know region as many region restricted or state restricted netplay tournaments because they'll simply just have the in-person tournaments instead uh, uh yeah i would imagine people would opt for instead but um no i definitely think uh netplay is really here to stay and it's much more like of a valid if not um you know if not an alternative for tournaments um at least you know to keep sharp to practice yeah. to get you know sessions with other players um develop you know experience and uh 
you know, matchup knowledge, stuff like that, definitely it, it's there. I mean, it's much more uh, possible for you to like, oh man, like I've been losing to Ganons a lot, right? It's much mm -hmm. more possible for you to find one Ganon in the East Coast than try to find a Ganon in your own state. Because sure, maybe Spain, you yeah, have exactly. a Ganon in your state, but it's much more reliable and possible for you to try and find someone there. And I'm mm -hmm. just excited to see that potentially uh, having more, better infrastructure in the future would lead. Because in a world where everybody has fiber, there would be no, absolutely Ouch. no Johns about, <laughs> about oh, net play. Uh, 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 uh. Like, literally, like, you have like players like Non, Moki, uh, that sometimes like, get, like, that they have, like, solid uh, infrastructure. And they play versus uh -huh. Mangle in the east in the west coast and it's fine it, it is right, like yeah. uh, you have literally zane tweeting about how it, it's pretty much the same like it, it, it is the actual game like you're just you're just johnny after that point if you actually have solid mm -hmm. internet so there's not much point about moving forward and i think a world where qualifiers is actually uh done online could actually yeah. be something reliable but that with is, that yeah, said that is a yeah. very interesting way if some majors will go about that route because mm -hmm. uh you know a lot of them you know they get the really big venues like not stadiums but you know like huge like conference rooms in a big hotel mm -hmm. or yeah you yeah know, stuff like that like just huge venues like big house of genesis for example um you know, it's like, do you, do you stray from that path just because online would be available? Probably not, at least for the biggest, biggest majors. But yeah. um, I could see other tournaments going that route and kind of being more of like, maybe more of like there's an online circuit, kind of like your thing, but then the finals for each season or whatever. Then you go in person, in person. Yeah. yeah. To be honest, that that is my dream. I wanted to have like a, a, an East Coast Summit where <laughs> people qualify. No. And they come down playing my basement. I don't know if you ever watched my stream, if you showed it to your stream, but I have quite a, a bit of space here. I could have like, like easily, I'd say we could have 16 players here, but maybe oh, eight more comfortably. Summit. Yeah, that that would be my dream, but we're, we're far away from, uh, from being able to get there. We wouldn't have to need to get some sponsors, but... Uh, the mm -hmm. last thing I want to ask you is that the, the other day, I don't know if you're still present on the PM slash P plus scene, but there was quite the, the hot topic on the on people using auto well cancer and whatnot, because as the experience of a player as you are, you know that there's quite a bit of a difference on that between PM and P plus and how mm -hmm. it's not as much of a thing that there's not as many intricacies as it is in melee as how important it is in melee versus p plus and people notice that the attendance on on p plus events like increased uh, drastically when uh, more people could have uh had the option to just play without uh with auto cancel on but huh. and then someone made a video with it and it's not even that what i want to talk about you is that the fact that then i was watching this guy presenting arguments to uh, on that topic and i saw that you were playing pm <laughs> yes <laughs> and yes, pm is the only is the game that <laughs> I, I actually do better so i might i might want to challenge you to mm -hmm. uh to a matchup uh, on that game i saw they were playing diddy which is a hell of yeah. a character oh i hate playing a character versus that character right. but uh <laughs> i might hit good. you up for some uh net play sessions i mean i'm sure from ontario to louisiana is not going to necessarily be the best option but yeah I, I don't unfortunately want to... yeah p plus doesn't have the same thing going uh, yeah we'll, we'll so, try you know, to meme we'll try to right. meme a little bit just for fun just for the sake <laughs> of it but if if we ever meet meet each other in a in an uh in IRL event, I might challenge you to to my actual P plus Marf, okay. who does much right. better than the melee one. Well, with that said, <laughs> right, uh, sure, yeah. I'll give you the mic. You know, remember keep it family friendly. But you uh, go ahead and shout out to you know family, friends, fans, uh, sponsors, whatever you want to go. The mic is yours, my yeah. friend. Congratulations again. Right, thank you. Yeah. Uh, shout, yeah first, uh, I'll thank you, Scout, uh, for hosting these weeklies and uh, the season finals. Uh, definitely have uh brought uh or at least provided you know uh, a good stream of competition 
for most of us, I'd imagine. And, uh, you know, actually running like a whole circuit thing makes it a lot more interesting and a lot more fun to participate in. Um, Thank you. Also, of course, shout outs to my my team, my sponsor, Crescent Esports. Um, they're definitely going to be uh, helping me out a lot uh, once these in-person tournaments come. So I'll, I'll be able to travel to uh, a lot more than I would be otherwise um, without them. So big shout outs to them supporting me and all that stuff. Uh, shout outs to Louisiana Melee, of course, as always. Uh, they get, you know, they've been hanging out in my streams, watching me, uh, you know, grow over these past couple of years and everything so it's always great to have their support they're the homies of course um and yeah everybody watching you know my stream and your stream um and For you know, sure. anybody hosting you know tournaments uh the, these past couple of years um you know i wouldn't really just wouldn't be able to have any sort of exposure like i, I do these days um so I'm, I'm very grateful for you know slippy and uh, everybody running tournaments and all that uh, I wouldn't be able to put myself on, on a you know a platform like this so um, big shout outs to everybody that's doing it out there I'm very appreciative for sure well that is it guys that was Jay Salt again keeping up the perfectly clean record here so far in our events it's gonna get this lovely here right here on stream we have the first place trophy is going to be sent to him. Don't worry, I'm not going to dox mm -hmm. you. I already have your address. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but we're going to be shipping it again. I'm glad the first one arrived. Like I had like two of the prizes across the 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 events that I've hosted that never arrived, and it made me feel really bad. So I had to oh, remake yeah. one of them, and the other one, I I just I just can't. I couldn't find the same uh, materials that I needed to make it. But the winner said. It was fine, uh, so I'm very appreciative. Anyway, just saw mm -hmm. congratulations again. I hope you have an amazing thank weekend. You, Stay you. safe out there, and I will see you on the next time. Uh, congratulations yeah. again. Thank you, and uh, you know, so ha yesterday was your birthday, so happy birthday oh, to yeah. you. Oh uh, yeah, thank you, you so much. Weekend celebration, joining us uh, in the 30s, us boomers. So uh, oh yeah, the yeah. boomer power. Let's go. Yeah, hope you. <laughs> and are you 30 as well? Yourself, Holy man. fuck. Yep. <laughs> man in melee still got it baby there we go there we have it all right congratulations jay saw it again i'm gonna let you go for an out uh, enjoy the rest of your weekend all right you too thanks all right, all right. uh guys that was it that was jay saw our winner of the night here once more he managed to clutch out another big w here he was the winner of season four he got a lovely medal on his mail and now he's gonna get this first place trophy uh Again, congratulations, J Salt. But let's uh, get a, a last visit here to our top eight finalists here. Again, we had J Salt with a perfect clean record here. Kubi almost not making it to grand finals. I mean, shout out to E Poodle here with an amazing uh, run that he had this season. Uh, it was actually great. He really tried hard during the season. And if I'm not mistaken, he was going through some uh, uh, respectable pain and, and a little bit of, of uh, problems with his hands moving on to this bracket. But he still showed up and decided to risk it all <laughs> to get into these uh, these finals here. So they didn't do as well as one could have on the group stage. But as you can see here, he moved on and went super far with a 3-1 victory versus Ouija, a 3-1 versus Freezes, and a 3-2 versus Trail, and almost managed to edge it out versus Kubi here, but Kubi managing to show that Ontario is indeed strong and in getting the W here, ending up with a solid second place uh, uh, final here. And even though we all got surprised by the fact that Trail had to start the top eight from the very bottom of it, because uh, Freezes managed to edge it out uh, on top of him. And here's the thing, guys. Trail almost didn't make it into the top eight. It was very close. It was literally one game away from him not getting into the top eight. He managed to get in, and then he got a 3-1 versus Frigid, a 3-2 versus No Fluxes, and ends up losing to Ipudo, but makes it out and gets this lovely and solid fourth place finisher uh trophy right here it's gonna be shipped out to him uh free of charge on the mailbox so stay tuned all of you guys that became and that's the thing guys the glory is all theirs they have became become uh 
Gladiator Scouts for Season 5. They have achieved the highest glory our uh, events uh, award to our players, to the most dedicated of them all. So with that said, thank you so much for uh, coming in here and watch us out, for participating every single week, showing up to the stream every single week, for wishing me my happy birthday for 30 years being around. And with that said, I appreciate every single one of you. I have to make a little bit of an announcement that I might not continue one of these events. Uh, I have been rambling about them for two to three months now that I have been wondering if I if I should continue or not. And every time I receive some positive feedback about it, uh, I want to continue. But then there's also so many problems that happen on, on the back end of things that make me not really want to continue. So I'm still kind of divided. And overall, I think what would be the best for me is to potentially not keep going with it the way I am doing it right now and just try to, uh, I don't know, from time to time host the season and stop the normal weekly events. So that would give much more time for me to focus on other things and just try to make the, the events whenever I host them be more important than they normally are. And it, it, it pains me a little bit to, to have to do something like this, but it just goes to show uh, if I were like, I've talked to myself about making a video explaining how it goes about being a TO for online events. And I'm not necessarily complaining. It's just like explaining what goes on with this, uh, these efforts that I put into this and how it doesn't necessarily get me much back from it. Uh, not that necessarily looking for it, but there's just so many problems and so many hardships that go into it that it's getting to the point where I can't just keep it up with it. I have to potentially, you know, get a normal job and do other things. So I try my best to keep it going and, and, and make it as good as possible. But with that said, uh, I will try to get local events going or other things. And if you guys want to make sure you are in tune with uh, everything that's going on. I'm going to keep my Discord going also. You can talk to me there. And with that said, uh, I might run the event this Monday because I already had it created, but there might not be one uh, on the Monday the 21st. So thank you so much, everybody that always showed up, that have always been around. I really appreciate every single one of you. To all, every single person that ever, 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 single person that always try to help me either directly either financially or all the people that at least never gave me a problem never were never annoying were never like cancerous never being problematic while hosting events and shout outs to every single person that that read the rules of tournaments and uh made it worth it the time that i took to create the events, to create the graphics and all the other things that go into hosting these. I really appreciate every single one of you and I hope you guys, uh, you know, have an amazing time going forward. Uh, even if it's not joining my tournaments, uh, you guys are the ones that, that make this time worth it. But to every single person that were not necessarily 100% like that, please uh, think about your TO. Think about how hard and, and annoying it is to try and host something like this and have people pretty much like swimming against like cutting against the grain and making your life harder with that said thank you so much guys for showing up here uh thank you for the birthday wishes i wish you guys all the best as well stay true and i hope you guys have an amazing weekend and next week i'll see you guys next time i am out bye bye